Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Make sure you're set to 60 or you miss out on half the action because that's what the Atari 2600 outputs. <laughs> 60 frames a second. It was way ahead of its time. Um, we have four games today. They're not all games, but uh, I lumped one in with games. We don't always play games, but usually we play games. That's very... Cryptic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the first one uh, game is game called SKOB, some kind of bomb jack. Very long name, but it's a port of bomb jack. I don't know if you've heard of that game. No, you no, I played haven't. It? No. Okay. Yeah, that's um, new to me. I played it uh, quite a bit back in the day mm. on my C64. We'll get into that. The second game is a scientific calculator. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that would be interesting because you use a calculator all the time. <sighs> So you'd be able still to help do. out. I'm old school that way, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> be able to help out a bit. Yeah. Uh, the third game is a is called Cross Dock, <laughs> um, and this is the exclu exclusive world debut of it. It's by uh, Kev Kelly, who is in the chat for right now. Uh, he's uh, he says he's at work. He's going to be dropping in and out. Uh, and we also have a updated version of Robotron 2084. Nice, nice. The nice. full version. Yeah. The demo was released yesterday. So, awesome. everybody's been playing it. Awesome. But we've got an updated okay. full version of yeah, it. So cool. that's very exciting. You mean not the demo that was released, or this is the demo that, that was released? We will released. be playing an updated full version of the game. Oh, wow. A demo was released, was of released. It yesterday. Okay. Yes. Mm, um, I got exciting. it 10 minutes ago. <laughs> or very <gasps> shortly ago. Oh, Pixel kitty. just walked in with a spring. Oh, where's my little lower oh. little thing? Oh, let's turn that on. Where is it? Webcam. The webcam is just not on. Let's get that going. He's very excited. There it is. Pointing at the TV. Yeah, that's not helpful. No, that's not very helpful. Now it's at your socks. Wow, the floor's really dirty. Dirty floor. Yeah. One second, folks. We'll get this going. Very important webcam. It's the cat cam. The cat and sock cam? <laughs> and sock cam. So you can see what socks I'm wearing today. Yes. I am wearing... Atari. Um, you need to pull that up. Red Atari socks. <sighs> okay. Oh, that is very gross. Hold on. And dirty. thank you to all the Twitch subscribers for supporting us. I'm going to read out their names. Captain Glass, Car Charles and Chad, Gradham's Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G. Croco 2600, Cuba 6969, I think that's a new name. Laud Mott, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Legs, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice Wears, S. Ramirez 2008, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Thank you very much. And you can support the show too, or re support the show, um, and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow us on Twitch and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook so you can be informed of what shows are coming up, um, what games we're going to be playing. And thank you everybody for tuning in today. Uh, with 60 frames a second, our upload speed, I believe, is 3 megabits per second. If I'm is not that Twitch or is that three or four megabits per second okay. through Twitch? Yeah. Through Twitch, okay. Um, I found it's you can't really tell any blockiness. It's uh, mm. it handles it pretty well, um, and my computer is fairly fast, so I can do better compression as well. Mm. Because it is a trade-off between how fast you can do compression, um, because you can get more out of it if you compress it more in the same amount of bits. Mm. So, there you go, geekiness. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in live. We've got Leo C. Santi, Packrat VG, Dan AVC, XKenX70, Kev Kelly, Carl G, uh, Thrust26, uh, Dan AVC, Alnifer, S. Ramirez2008, and everybody, oh, yeah, and everybody else who is watching in silence. Yeah. <laughs> um, a whole ton of mail news and feedback. Um not sure if it's because we mentioned it on the last show, but there's been not a new release, but uh, an update about Chaotic Grill. 
that's the burger time mm. port um in the thread in the atari age forums because we mentioned it in passing i can't remember what the context there was, was some chat about it too yeah, yeah um, if i recall yeah probably just somebody going hey where, where what's happening yeah with it? yeah um and chat. uh marcos posted in the thread um i think there hadn't been an update for like almost a year says wow nothing since 2019 what's going on this needs to happen <laughs> and splendid nut uh responded i think splendid nut was in the chat yeah uh, last episode yeah, so yeah. that might have been part of it you might have mentioned it or something or maybe technology was similar mm. um he said soon maybe <laughs> i basically <laughs> took an unannounced yep. break from it yep Oh, Splendid he's nuts here. in the chat. Thank you. Splendid. And then ended up working on other projects. The game is currently stuck in the almost complete state. And it is. It's like, I can't see any, anything missing really mm. from it. I mean, there's always the 5% left, right? Mm -hmm. It really just needs a few things better title screen, menu, and those are just enhancements, right? Mm. Um, there's also some under the covers work that I want to get done, tweaks here and there. I do have a new title screen in progress that I've been working on occasionally, that I've worked on occasionally. Finishing this project has been in the back of my mind a lot recently. Uh, being as a few other people have also made references, proddings, to this project recently, it might be time to try and finish it up. So that's really exciting because that's that's a really, really good port of Burger Time. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really looking forward to playing that again on the show. Oh, Kev Kelly is leaving for now. Yes, Leo, um, Leo C... See, Santi also mentioned he's oh, the, the unholy, unholy developer. developer. Welcome. Yeah, yes. I've been watching that game, and I showed you some. Yeah, footage. yeah, we were watching watching it on uh, being I, played on YouTube. I really love the the layout and look, and just the yep. the, um, oh, the context of it. Yeah, like yeah. You're throwing crosses and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that's we, we enjoyed watching it. Yeah. If you want to go check that out, that's posted in uh, a lot of the Facebook groups. Um, Atari homebrew okay. facebook groups yeah um and he's got some footage up there yeah um so let's see i'm not sure if i mentioned this before but i'm pretty sure i have omega matrix has been uh giving new menus to classic atari 2600 games new menus um yeah so old uh. atari games what they usually had is you use the select switch to go through the game options. Yes. And some of them had hundreds of game options. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> and, and usually it was like kind, crazy. kind of like a, in the manual, they had a matrix mm. of like, oh, you know, you had bouncing shots or you had three bullets or and two players, one player, you know, all these variations. Um, but they didn't have menus. They just had to select and you had to consult the manual because, mm. you know, they tried to keep the the, the size of the cartridge down to save costs so they didn't want elaborate menus or anything mm -hmm. and it was not easy they probably didn't even know how to make a menu back then <laughs> way back in the you know 70s early 80s uh, i don't think menus came until not very many menus i can't even think of one off the top of my head um it's just straight into the game mm. but i think there was a couple um anyway so what omega matrix has been doing is creating menus from these matrices of oh, it's right in his name omega matrix of options and making modern menus for these games cool. so that you don't have to touch the a b switch you don't have to touch the select switch nice. you don't even have to touch the start switch you just have the joystick and, and it's got start in the menu oh, so neat. it's really really That's good cool. yeah um so uh so wh what these menus do is create a convenient front end for all the game variations so you don't have to consult the manual or mess around with the buttons they are worth downloading just for the menus by themselves because some of these are incredible mm -hmm. um like s 2008 said the warlord's menu is great and that's kind of what prompted me to want to talk about this mm -hmm. so far he's converted space invaders super breakout video olympics indy 500 asteroids and warlords mm -hmm. um we're going to take a look at those because they're really, okay, really cool. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's just take a look at them through Stella. Um, really quickly, we're not going to play them because you guys can play them on your own. So I've actually, on your own. I've actually made a separate directory <laughs> on my computer <laughs> for these front end menu uh, hacks. Nice. So let's start off with uh, asteroids and he's and he's released pal and pal 60 versions of these as well uh, okay 
I can go full screen. No, I can't. Oh, go that full that went crazy. Yeah, it switches back over there. That's okay. I think you can it, make that work. It Stella yeah. does not respect my multiple monitors. <laughs> Very naughty, naughty. Mm -hmm. What is missing there? Oh yeah, because we're not playing a game, so that's fine. So like you, you can see, there's um, PAL, PAL sixty, and unlabeled NTSC, the default, <laughs> I guess. So here's his. Um, There we go. Oh! Oh, can you get that cat? Oh, come here, come here. Psst, 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 come down. Be a good cat. Come on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this needs to be threatened. He just needs a threat. <laughs> what is James happening? Well, that's, this is too big. There we go. Funny. Stop it! <laughs> it's like I move it and it makes itself bigger? Why is it, why is it going full screen? You can kind of see it there. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Why is it It's, it's okay. You can see it just fine though. Oh, I think. You can see it just fine. If you yeah. move it into the center, you can see it. Okay. No, it's I think not you're okay. as big. Oh my god. <laughs> if I move it, it gets bigger. Yeah, but but if you look at what's outputting, I think. You can't see the bottom. You can't. Can That's you shift it? Oh. I'm going to go over here. Make it smaller over here. Let's see if that works. That's very bizarre. No. no, it's just the start that's missing. Let's go to two, two x. Oh, pixels being bad too. Everyone's being bad at once right now. There we go. That's that's better. There we go. Okay, let's get that off there. Close enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so asteroids, um, you can go left and right. Nice. One or two players. Um, speed, slow, fast, new life. No new lives. <laughs> 5, 10, 20. And if you look in the bottom right corner, it'll show you what the variation, the original number mm -hmm. choice of that is. So you can see players one with all those options is choice eight. Mm -hmm. And that one's 41 with two players. Um, turn on and off the hyperspace shields or your extra button is shields or hyperspace. Um, children's mode, little Kids. teddy bear, yeah, kid teddy version. Bear. What do they call it? Nutella mode. Nutella mode. <laughs> um, so, and then there's the start, and also you get the beautiful title. You get the star field. Yeah, that's really nice. It is great. Yeah. Um, oh god, why is it moving all over the place? Anyway, it doesn't like it doesn't like your multiple. Screens. So let's look at the combat menu. I'm gonna have to move it again. That's yep. okay. See if it's. I mean, it's the right size. Oh, see, that's size. okay. The right size, at least, yeah. So he's got a nice blue background. Yeah, um, that's really nice. What type of vehicle? <gasps> oh, the color the tanks, changes. The biplane, the jets, invisible, one versus one. Right. So this is two just... Two versus two? This is just in Stella. No, no, this is... You can load this onto... Um, a car... Like, like, like the, the... Okay. Harmony Encore. The Harmony. Okay. Um, yeah, that's cool. And just... It's just really, really convenient way mm. can't seem to change that i mean things all ch change like it's very complex yeah depending on what because for the tank there's totally different uh menu options those have rebounds and the planes don't have rebounds so mm. it's a a menu that changes depending on what you pick mm. makes you want to revisit them yeah yeah it's, gorgeous you can and and it's nice when you can easily change settings because after a oh while you God. just get frustrated with those things oh, right yeah so. if, especially if you want to play a bunch of different variations yeah. of it. i mean yeah. the actual games are exactly the same oh of course he yeah. hasn't altered those because yeah you know that's not the point of this yeah so yeah you want to play the game as oh, it as, as it was it. intended oh this is gonna be loud i'm gonna turn it down first yeah there's little uh, beeps in the menu so so the actual game is exactly the same. Get my mouse back. Yeah. So let's reset back to the menu. So you can it beeps, beep beeps, and it says mission number five. Mm. Very nice. Mission 16, 22. So let's go back and take a look at Indy 500. It's just being very naughty. It's okay. Nice screen. Very again. nice. Yeah. And this uses the driving controller, so you have to use the mouse, which isn't behaving terribly well. Well. It's 
okay. You can see the menu at least. I use the no. keyboard. It's not too happy. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So you have to use a driving controller. For yeah, this. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's not behaving with no. a mouse or a keyboard. But yeah, there's a beautiful menu. It even shows you which track mm. and a little mini track of it. Just amazing. Yeah. Uh, so the first one was a pack of games that he released um, all together. And it was uh, Space Invaders, Super Breakout, and Video Olympics. Let's take a look at the Space Invaders. And this is a very uh, simplistic kind of retro black and white mm. in line with uh, what the, the arcade yeah. is like. There you go. And, and like really clean menus too. Players, shield moves, zigzag, all these menus. And it still has the thing in the bottom. And look at this gorgeous menu yeah, for Super Breakout. That's so nice. On theme, yeah. right? Yeah. And this should work properly, yeah, because it's the mousey. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Children's. Start. And dead. Okay. <laughs> and Video Olympics. Very, very plain screen here. Yeah. Oh. Jeez, mouse. Or not. Behave. Behave. Oh. Up uh, side to side? What made it go up and down? Uh, nothing. Nothing. It's not working. Yeah. It's Video Olympics. It must Should be, be mouse. Is it? It must. No, maybe it's a uh, paddle? No. It no? is paddle. Oh, is it? It's kind of working. Kind of. Kind of working. Anyway, <laughs> explore it with proper <laughs> controls. Uh, don't mind what I'm doing here. Yeah. Um, but these are just gorgeous. And to top it all off, he just released the other day Warlords. Warlords. And this is just gorgeous and beautiful. Oh, wow. And he's got um, multiple oh. players. And this is pad Paddle too, so oh, I should I be able to control it, yeah. Now, what do those uh, little guys up there remind you of? Um. Oh, my God. <laughs> they remind me of uh, John Cleese in um, um, a Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. Exactly. Yes. You got it. And some people found that out in the uh, forums too. They said that. Yeah. And they were correct. Yes. I would love to have them on a single cart, maybe with screenshots of either as a label. Yeah. That would be an amazing release. Um, I don't know how big of these are each. Like this is an 8K. He had to expand, um, I think at least by 4k most of them mm. because you know there's graphics and a menu and you know text text is not built into the 2600 despite what people might think i don't think anybody thinks that but um it's one of those systems it's so early that there's just no text you have to make your own text because there's just no room sorry my head is filled with uh, holy grail quotes right now <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, too fast there we go <sighs> children's oh it has all the menus all the different options and there you go. Beautiful, yeah. Yep. And the amazing and game of Warlords. Oh, so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. Why isn't it catching it? Oh, I probably don't have that on. Yeah. Okay, so that is, that is. Uh, you should definitely check that out and download all of them and play all of them. Yeah. Because they're incredible. They're, they're great games to begin with, right? Um. So if he could put those on a cartridge, I don't know, because they're all Atari games. <laughs> well, That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know how much trouble I got for even mentioning a meta tag of the of, name of, of my Atari. cat. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, poor here kitties. That's right. We have, we're surrounded DMCA'd. by kitties. We've got a black and white cat on the cat cam right now. My cat was DMCA'd. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, where are they located, uh, the ROMs? They are in the Atari Age forums. Um, so just search for... Uh, I don't know what you'd search for. Yeah. Um, actually, let me that. paste it in so that people can find them right now. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know how you'd really search for that too yes. easily. Uh, there it is. Copy. Paste. That's true. Atari Age is selling the trackball hacks, so 
menu hack should be fine. There you go. Mm -hmm. So maybe you maybe we will get those after he's uh, after there's enough of them. Yeah. And put it on a mega cartridge. That would be, be nice. really cool. It would be nice to have a mega cartridge of old games. Of course, like... then he'd have to add another menu. Yeah. <laughs> of menus. <laughs> Menu of menus, like you have a super menu, and yeah. then it breaks down into the... Yeah. And then you'd have to have something that would return back. Well, you could reset the game, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But to the main menu. Yeah, to the main menu. Yeah. So there, uh, there's the link for everybody who wants to check those out. Um, so my RGB Atari 2600. I don't know if I want to declare it dead or not, but it's mm. pretty dead. Sad. So I pretty much exhausted all the possibilities for it of reviving it so it's very very sad um and i am not an expert at soldering i'm far from it i can barely do it and i don't know what i'm doing i'm just like soldering things and looking for things i'm not sure of so uh, i'm now looking for some help um have you tried giving it to an expert <laughs> i have not um and right now it's a little bit difficult there's there's nothing open I can't it get is, to yeah. Darcy, who originally helped me with it. Well, he's pretty good with soldering. And things he's like good that. with soldering, but yeah. he doesn't know what an Atari, how an Atari Twenty Six no, works. No. Yeah, he yeah. would be able to solder if you said solder this. But yeah, um, so I'm wondering if there's anybody out there with soldering skills that would be willing to help me put an RGB mod into a Twenty Six Hundred. Like it doesn't have to rescue that one because that one might be dead. It might it might be the RGB mod. It yeah. might be the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Yeah. It might be just too much fiddling to do to get it going again. So what I'm kind of looking for is somebody with an Atari that I can order the RGB mod and have it shipped to you, and you can do it, and I will pay you to do it. Yeah. Um, so you can help me out, so we can get back to normalcy. Because you can see there's interference with this one because it's just composite. It's just one video line rather than a split into three separate yeah. video pieces like r g and b yeah. it's just it's just not good enough <laughs> especially looking back at the footage of yeah. us playing the rgb it is gorgeous Beautiful. yeah it looks it's like stella off of yeah. a computer <laughs> yeah. there's nothing wrong with it yeah. it's so gorgeous yeah so and it's been a number of months and i just want to get back to that so uh, I'm putting the word out here i'm going to put the word out in the atari age forums as well i yeah. haven't done that yet so if anybody I know somebody uh, many months ago offered to repair mine. Yeah. I can't remember who that was. Yeah. Um, so if that person can re let me know <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe I can uh, get them all the materials that they need to, to do yeah. it um, if they're still willing to do that. So uh, please message me in the Atari Age forums or through Facebook or wherever you want to message me or james at zeropagehomebrew.com. Um, nope. You gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye. How do I get rid of that person? There we go. Goodbye. Um, so, VHZC has a new game on the horizon called Canonica. Okay. Um, and it looks really, really cool. Yeah. Um, it is a shooter. We're going to take a look at it. I warned you there was a lot of news. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of news. Well, when you're releasing brand new games, like big Robotron games, you don't want to put all of the news at the front of a game. That is very true. Yeah. So let's, yeah, because people were complaining that I didn't play it immediately <laughs> yesterday. Play the game immediately. It's like, well, I have a couple things of news. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. So we're going to take a look at VHZC just really, really quick. Um, he's not ready to uh, put it out for Completely me to for, test. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, to play it on the show because it's just in its early stages. Well, it's, it's getting a, a, along pretty quickly. So I don't know if there's sound. I don't think he's got sound going yet. He probably wants sound first. So here's Canonica. Um, he hasn't said much about it, so mm -hmm. I can't. There's nothing to say about it. But it is a shooter. In the vein of all the other, um, like, um, of his games, it has that look. It has mm. a very specific look. It has the huge variety of enemies, mm. of things that you're shooting. And I really, really like one of the uh, levels where it looks like Buster Brothers. 
And do you remember what that one is? Not not off the top of my head. You have a to very, very out. cool 3D kind of yeah. effect, sir. So we're going to just jump through it really quick here. Uh, see if we can get to the Buster Brothers. So there's lots of bouncy things. There's That's things cool. that shoot. There. So things you have to avoid. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I mean, it's not Buster Brothers. No, but it's got a very similar look. It's, it's as like far a big bubble. And that, you shoot the and big they bubble. Break down. Breaks into two. Nice. They don't have separate bouncing or anything. No, no, but that's cool. Because he's not doing any flicker in this game. So if he did bouncing with multiple bubbles, you'd have to get into you'd, flicker. You or something. would get into flicker, yeah. Or you'd use play fields like John Champeau does. Yes. Uh, very cleverly. Of course, they'd be. A little oh, bit look chunky at the skull. Move. That's awesome. And then it turns into a flame. <gasps> That's cool. And I suggested he should make the skull. Actually, one of the bosses is a big skull. And I said, you should make the skull laugh when he comes on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If oh, you let's... can pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can get to that boss. There's some more bubbles. The bubbles are cool. Some rockets. Very, Ooh. very cool. Long. So is the idea you have to hit a certain number of enemies to progress to the next one? Because uh, it looks like there's a red timer bar. So you have to, I'm assume. Yeah. Kill a certain number before yes. the timer bar goes down. Yeah, that's because then it goes it to the like. next one. Very cool little yeah. enemies there. Let's get to the boss. There's the boss. Let's get him oh. on coming on the screen. Nice. First. Yeah. So here, here's the beginning of the boss. Comes nice. on the screen. And then I think he should go, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Move his jaw down and laugh. <laughs> so there's there's the boss. That's goes really back and great. forth, tries to stomp tries on you. Tries to, yeah, smash you. So, very cool. I think that's a very, very cool... Uh, someone says joystick or paddle. Um, It could be either, really. Because it just, is just back and forth and shooting, and... right? He didn't state. Um, is it's... it consistent shooting, like 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 auto fire, or is it... I don't know. Because, oh, okay. you don't, you know. because we can't play it. Yeah, right? yeah, true so, enough. But it definitely could be paddle. Yeah. It doesn't... Usually with paddle games, it's not a smooth movement. It's like whip, 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 like because it's absolute positioning. Mm. Otherwise, you might as well use a joystick, because then you'd have to spin the paddle constantly. So that is definitely joystick, because you can you can see paddle games. Mm. They go like, they have variable speed movements, and yes, that did it. Yes, true. That looks very consistent. Yeah, yeah. very consistent. Yeah. Um, Deep, Deep Stone Catacomb release. Um, it was announced on Friday. It says, here's a first look at the cover artwork of Deep, Deep Stone don't that's hard to say deep, deep stone, stone catacomb. catacomb a new atari 2600 <laughs> game by mick muse do you have what it takes to traverse the 26 deadly floors of the catacomb and rescue the kidnapped princess from the undead be careful the dark lord is expecting you and we did complete level one mm. um on the show it, there's never been a demo release so we've been very lucky to been able to play this game check back in the archives um it is an insta buy it's incredible mm. it's like an art RPG going around these levels of dungeons, going down, down, collecting health, collecting power-ups, defeating bosses. It is incredible. It has an incredible uh, aesthetic as well, a look to it. Very colorful. I'm really looking forward to getting that uh, that game and uh, beating level two. Yeah. Because <laughs> it gets much harder. Level one is, is quite difficult, but uh, it... Uh, it uh, Deep Stone Cat. Deep Stone Catacomb has two res, two low res. Oh no, driving controller <laughs> has two. Yeah. Just happens to have the same. Uh, has too low resolution for direct positioning. Yeah. Um, for driving controllers. Yeah. And that driving controller spins around and around, and that's yes. kind of how it works. So you can spin it further or slower or faster, but you can keep spinning. Keep spinning around. in one direction. Yeah. Yeah. Very few games are used with the driving controller because mm. of that. Paddle is very precise. But both of them are very difficult to implement in a game because you have to read them constantly. You have to yeah. constantly read them. Mm -hmm. So it uses up a lot of your cycles. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very difficult. So, you know, praise to to um, Daryl Spice Jr. for making his games with, with paddles. It's yeah. really, really challenging. Mm -hmm. So it was um, hinted at and a little bit here and there, but Al has given some more... A lot more information about his upcoming ability for the Atari Age store to sell ROMs because a lot of people have been asking where can we buy this ROM we don't want to buy the cartridge mm. we just want the ROM we don't want 
piles of, <laughs> some, it, of boxes and cartridges. There are cartridges. a lot of people who don't want the physical. You know, some people really want the physical cartridges. Yeah, not I love everyone, boxes and cartridges. Not everyone can find the old systems anymore. Their systems break, right? And they yeah. want to play the games. So, yeah. So there is a, you know, I don't know what percentage of people but some like percentage. the ROMs, but there yeah. is a percentage yeah. and they're quite vocal. Yeah. And a lot of people now are very used to just having just ROMs. Digital versions of things. Digital yeah. versions. Yeah. Um, so Al is answering that call oh. and he's given a lot more detail recently about it in the Atari age forums. Um, somebody asked and he said, this is already in progress. Mm. There is a downloads module that isn't visibly public that I've been working on. The intent is to allow homebrew authors to upload their games complete with screenshots, a description, a video linking to the YouTube or another site and other data specific to homebrew games, which controllers are supported for instance. Comments and reviews can also be left for files in the download section, and you'll be able to very easily see all the files uploaded by a particular author. Mm. So it's like a central um, area, repository for homebrew games, just generally homebrew games, because right now they're they're kind of scattered all throughout the Atari age forms, mm. except for with the ones in the store. So he kind of wants to expand the look of the store and information for stole. We actually did do a poll for it a long time ago. Oh, so yeah. I can't remember which show, but there is a poll we did a while ago. about digital, digital versus, versus physical. Physical. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick look at the, um, cause he released a screenshot of it too. A quick look at, um, what he has planned for the outline of what this is going to look like. Now, this is not necessarily, where you can buy them yet. Um, but this is at least the first kind of step um, in getting there. So uh, that's way too big. Um, <laughs> and that's way too small. <laughs> How are we going to do this? Well, okay. Do it way too small, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. Eh, eh. Maybe I can move it around. Oh, no. This... Oh, no it's, got a, it's got a scroll on the right there. Oh, does it? Yeah, okay. It's yeah. Got a okay. Yeah, we can kind of do this. Yeah. I think it's better to show it big. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here it yeah. is. Yeah. Anyway, you're going to have to deal with this. Go to it yourself. Um, <laughs> right now, I'm working on allowing the authors to charge for their games if they desire. Not just for games that are currently available in physical form in the Atari Age store, but for any homebrew games that people have created. Mm. Atari Age will take a commission for any games offered for sale in this fashion. I contracted somebody to add gift support for downloads module means you'll be able to buy the games for another member and they'll show oh, up in their account. Nice. So you can say, Hey, I think you'd like this game. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Additionally, this is a very useful addition for homebrew authors while a game is in development. The download module supports versioning. So authors can upload new versions complete with upload release notes and screenshots. Nice. This is very complete. Mm. Uh, the authors can choose to let older versions remain. So you have a nice historical archive of the development versions of a game. If an author wants that history available, here's a screenshot of Draconian as an example. I don't have a video linked in this one, but it would appear at the bottom of the description. Mm. Um, so here's the example page. Once this is made public, when you search for a game, any hits in the downloads module, which I'll probably rename for something more fitting, will also be visible. Uh, when the new file is uploaded, they will show up in the various activity feeds as well. So you'll be alerted to hmm. new things. So he's got, uh, about this file, you've got screenshots, um, you've got download this file. It shows how many times it's been downloaded, how many views, when it was uploaded, how big it is, who made it, controllers, uh, the different formats, NTSC, PAL 60, CCAM, um, uh, the release date, whether it has safe key support. Uh, the gameplay description, game options, and a link to the discussion of mm. it as well. So you can see what people are saying about it. This is really, really great. Um, I thought about mar watermarking for the plus store too. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is very much like, uh, any, any store that's out there, um, for digital downloads and having the versioning is, is incredible. Yeah. It doesn't really fit on the screen here because of how I've done it. Uh, so that's very exciting. Uh, he didn't give a release date for that mm. when that would be happening. Um, so we'll just keep our eyes open cause it is a big undertaking to, to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, there's no need for watermarking on things that are publicly available really. 
um, because everybody would have the same watermark. Um, yeah. Well, if you do individual watermarks... Well, that's what they were saying, but that would end up being a lot of work. Piracy is always an issue. I mean, That's the yeah. big thing with this. I mean, yeah. in television, um, did the people who do things for in television had a different way of doing that. Yeah. Um, you have to get this cartridge to play the purch purchasable oh, um, in television games. Yeah. And you have to give them the number off of your cartridge oh. and they give you a binary that is version well, for yours. It's version for yours. And it's encrypted so that that's only you can smart. play it. I mean, this. not that things can't still be hacked, but, but yes. that's, that it's, it's, something. it's a barrier, right? It's a barrier, yeah. which is, is really, that's all you can so do. So it's encrypted with your key. Yeah. That's to this. So. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's downsides to that. What if this dies? You have no more games. You buy a new one. Well, they don't work on your new one. You'd have to go back to them if they're still around. Yes. That's, that's the, the key point, right? I mean, they are right now. Yeah. Yeah. So there's upsides and downsides. Yeah. And, and but that makes that, that, that seems a little bit more user a friendly. Solution. Yeah, it is. So he may be delay. Looking, who knows what he's, yeah. he may delay ROM sales till X mm. days, X weeks after the cartridge sales are, have come out. Yeah. Well, that's what. They because, do with movies. I mean, but yeah, that's a, this is a little different because once one person buys the binary, yeah, it's done. They can post it somewhere. Everybody can have it. Yeah, that's the downside to mm. non-encrypted. More like months. Yeah, mm. that's that's what I would think. So that, and that's that's what they do with movies, like you said. They have stages. They have stages of release. Of release. Theater, which you know, yeah, I know yeah. all about that. Yeah, <laughs> theater, then video on, on demand. demand, then subscription video on demand. Um, Blu ray and DVD comes along with video on demand, coincides yeah. with that. So there's stages because yeah. different people are willing to pay at different price points. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how it's going to be rolled out. He yeah. hasn't said that, but yeah. it's coming, yeah, in some form, yeah, and that's and that's really exciting. Um, so we're getting to our first game. Hooray! Now that you've sat through this. <laughs> but if this wasn't part of the show, and if you didn't come for us, then you... <laughs> there's other places that just play the game without talking. That's true. That's true. And, you know, I hope that's why you come yeah. here. <laughs> to, and the cats. To, and the cats, yeah. mostly. I, yeah. oh. I mean, we can't be... Uh... Oh, Pixel was, like, sleeping on the controller. That was very cute. Has he been in the... He's been in the... Oh, on the screen the whole time. Yeah. Sleeping That's on the controller. Cute. You so silly So we're going to get to our first game, which is Bomb Jack. Or more succinctly, some kind of Bomb Jack. It's a port of an arcade game that I played quite a lot on my Commodore 64. Oh, okay. No talk and no cats? That would be boring. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> You'd miss all this important news that you wouldn't know about, right? You'd have to scour the Atari Age forums that I cultivate and <laughs> curate for you. Um, so this is by uh, Michael, a.k.a. Sterile707. This was a little while ago. Hmm. First posted September 3rd, 2007. This build is from September 11th, 2007. It's a 4K game. Um, it's the only game that I know of that he's made, that he's posted, at least anywhere. Hmm. Um, you can download this version. Um Let's first actually take a look at arcade footage so you know, for people who don't know what Bomb Jack is, what he's trying to uh, go for and emulate here. Very clean signal. I always find that at the first it uh, is clean and then it kind of gets garbagey. As, after as a bit. time goes on. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look. Switch back to computer. Oh, now it's getting sparkly. Now it's getting sparkly. Rewind a bit. Uh, okay, so bomb jack. Okay, get the ROM check while I talk about it. So this is bomb jack arcade version. Um, I never, I've never seen this in the arcade. This this game. This is from uh, 1984 uh, by Tech Techan, later known as Tecmo. Um, there we go. Oh, it's cutting off the top a little bit because I I make this for 
Stella. So um, let's make sure we have volume, which we do. It's the demo being played. Um, platforms, arcade and various. So I guess it was released on a lot of systems. Yeah, there we go. SG-1000, Amsterdam CPC, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Commodore 16, Atari ST, Amiga, Game Boy, Java, ME. Um, the Commodore 64 uses Jean-Michel Jarre's Magnetic Fields Part 2. Really? I always thought, and I knew that when I was playing the game, it's like, oh, it's Jean-Michel Jarre music. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only version it's in. I always thought that was part of the game. Let's actually get to the game so we can actually yeah. hear some This sounds like a... It's like a rock. I don't know what this, uh, what this song is. But the basic gameplay is you collect the bombs. Okay. If you collect them in the order that they're fizzling, you get more points. Oh, there are okay. power-ups. It's, it's like a, f a vertical pattern almost. You have to get all the power pellets. Well, there's a power pellet. You have to get all the dots, which are the bombs. And there's enemies around the screen. And as they're kind of dumb enemies, though, most of them. They just wander. They like just you just have around. to avoid. Is that the idea? Yeah, and um, oh, I guess that guy doesn't hurt you. Or he's playing impossible in in a uh, mode that he can't die. Which yeah, he which is, is annoying. <laughs> but some people just want to show all the levels. Yeah, that's which what is these fair. are. Yeah. So you press the button, you fly up the whole length of the screen. Oh, so you're floating. Yeah, and if you press the button while you're going up to the top, you stop. And you can move left and right to float over. Um, so it is a really, really fun game. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of strategy. This guy's making it look easy because he he's can't not die. dying. Yeah. And then you collect all the bombs, and you've gotten 22 fire bombs. Hooray! Bonus. Okay. You get the idea. And there's a different background for each of the levels. Which creates a lot of variation and kind of mazy. See that one? You, you can only get around certain places. This is an open field. And oh, each of the enemies has their own different way of attacking you. That cone guy is right on you, apparently. And the UFOs go up to the top and then head straight down for you. So let's take a look at the interpretation. Let's stop this noise. of what they've made for a port. And this is um, not a bad start to it. So yeah. let's go to the top one, because that's the game, this I one? believe. Yes, it is. There we go. Bomb jack. Mm -hmm. um, Just this, the... I didn't post the put the link in my oh yeah I did okay um yeah so that's the title screen you can press the button so there's your little dude he's the black guy oh button is just to jump and then you float left and right kind that's of that's the enemy and, and you die that's it you get one hit and you're dead <laughs> in this this version it's a, I guess it's very early 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 um oh it's it says after seeing retro fans mock up picks for an old favorite game of mine in this thread. I started coding my own little version of Bomb Jack for the 2600. I don't know how true I will stay the original game, so at the moment, working title is some kind of Bomb Jack. In case you're wondering about the title thread. You can already jump around and collect bombs, but no enemies. Well, there's there one is. enemy. Well, he yeah. added it later, I guess. And a couple of other glitches. I'm currently working on the platform part of the game, so you cannot jump from a platform. You can now. Nor did they hinder you. They do, they do now. Um, the walls don't work as well yet. No, you can go right through them. Yeah. Should be done around the next days, uh, next couple of days, though. When I'm done with the platform code, I would like to do a little level design contest around here on Atari Age. So with Bomb Jack... Oh, yeah. So what I'm noticing with the play is... Yeah, I got them all. Um, <laughs> you jump up, but you can't go left and right. You have to let go of the button to move left and right. Not in the original. No, but it, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you can't. You that's... can't. You let Take your finger off the button, then yeah. you can move. So it's a little it weird. It's that's a little a weird. Change. But I mean, as you say, it's it's a proof of concept more than anything else. Eating. What are you Fluff. eating, cat? Um, and in the original, you can go right to the top with the button. This one doesn't go right to the top. 
So there's some. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Apologies. Okay. He's eating fluff. Cats love to eat fluff off the ground, and yeah. various other things. Yeah. Trigger that we need to vacuum in here. I think. Yeah, he tells us when we need to vacuum uh, yeah. by eating fluff off the ground. Yeah. Bad cats. So this has one level. It is winnable, as you did. Yeah, yeah. And there's one enemy, which provides a which, little bit of... <laughs> you have to jump over. Have to figure out how to jump over. And you can't quite jump to the top, which, you know, you have to do a little bit of You can jump to that corner, though, but yeah. That's true. Yeah. It looks like he, he grabs onto the... There we go. Yeah. Interesting. So really, really a no active bomb indicator yet. No. No, so it's very... He could, he could do a simple one by just flashing flashing it flash fl yeah 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 you're absolutely right and that would right. work um sadly this is it from 2007 oh it never got further than this no mm. which is really sad because this is a very good start like really really good it's got all the basics of bomb jack yeah it's got the bombs it's got the platforms it's got an enemy that doesn't move yet yeah. but you could add in tons of those enemies you can make them all on the different levels moving across back and forth and Maybe eventually falling. You would have to flicker it if he f uh, fell past another enemy or was on the same level as an enemy and you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very nice start. Chose promise. It does. It really, really does. And that's kind of why I wanted to highlight it, showing that this game could be done at a, a very decent level on mm -hmm. the 2600. Um, just with even simple, like um, a simple version of it but um some people were helping him out including somebody that's in the chat right now um back in 2007 make some additions to a press button i don't have the atari box plugged in to tell us little uh, voices atari box. now thomas yanch uh made a background for the game oh nice so if you go into the same folder he may not even remember this one uh no up one that one so, so he made a Sphinx level for it. Oh, cute. And it's quite recognizable. You know, it's made from Playfield. Um, no, there's, there's no... There's oh, no it's play. nothing. No, okay. He just made this. No. He didn't <laughs> and unfortunately, he didn't incorporate it into the game. No, no. Um, Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> they're finding all the fluff during oh, no. the show. I, I... Um, so, <laughs> that was me, he says. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently it, <laughs> Apparently it was you. Yeah. Um, 13 years ago. <laughs> I don't think I'd remember the things I did 13 years no, ago neither. either. Um, so this is something that could be done. Um, mm. Simple level designs with um, play field. Neat. And um, just filling in, using the same color for the platforms. You could still use black for solid and kind of integrate that into the background. Mm. Um, so that would, uh, that would work. And somebody else did the music. Hold down the button, please. Thank you. Um, and Cybergoth, who we were just talking about up above. Uh, no, we didn't. That's a different Cyber Matrix. What was the other person's name? Oh, my goodness. Terrible. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Is it this one? Uh, Music? Yeah. Uh, yeah, TSM. Really good version. This is graphics, and it just adds to the game, and, and people want to make it better. Okay. I like the visualization. Too. <laughs> yeah, very good, actually. Little circles yeah. that are moving around. Oh, visualizations. I miss them. <laughs> okay. So. 
I still, I still feel, sorry, this That's is get going off topic. I still feel like modern, like streaming music services should have visualizations. I know. We do. <laughs> They've stripped them out. What, what well, happened to it? Because most people are listening. They're not, they're not watching them. Like they still have it on their phone. They shove it in their pocket, right? But we have it on television. Like well, we put our um, streaming audio through, on the television. Yeah. But I so don't think a lot of people have that set up anymore. And they have like the individual, yeah. they buy like the what are the Amazon Alexa and things right. like that. And they listen to it. Whereas we still have an old school like amplifier hooked up to our TV and switching between things. Yeah. So we will listen to Google play through, through that, through the TV Chrome. or sorry, Chrome, Chromecast. Chromecast. Yeah. And it goes to the TV, it goes to the TV and through the, the stereo. And it shows the album art. Yeah. And, and it's like, Oh, I, I some wish dancing lights, and some old Winamp visualizations in the see, background. That's, see, that's why we have to buy, um, <laughs> The Atari Atari Music Machine, which was released in the seventies. Okay. It's this wood grain box with button big chunky Oh yeah. Orange brown buttons on the front. Yeah. That you pipe your music through and it outputs to the T V. Really? And does visualization. Really? From the seventies? Yeah. Okay, we gotta find one of those. That must be really it, hard to find. They're expensive. That would be old, yeah. They're expensive, but yeah. they're really cool and people post about them. Yeah. There. That's what it's called. Atari video music. Yeah. And I that we would thought be of it so the same time. So much fun. Yeah. Can you I, imagine on our retro like retro gaming uh, night and just oh pumping pumping music through that? That would yeah. be so cool. They're not cheap though. No, I they're, bet. They're I bet they're highly sought fairly, after. That sounds are. like something really unusual. Because like, twenty six hundred people like to get that too yeah. because it has that wood aesthetic yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at a calculator, which is very very strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to take a look at a calculator. I love how you bring up the fact that I still use a physical one. Like I was surprised that you don't use one on the computer. Well, I do, but... So you don't have to switch screens? I have a job where I do quick little calculations and... There you go. 200 loose, 400 boxed. Oh, yeah. that's not bad. 200 loose isn't too bad. Oh, I'd buy that if we had room. <laughs> oh, we would have room for that. I would, I would uh, okay, okay yeah? space okay. on the... Uh, Give my blessing. So that'd be like, <laughs> Upstairs. That'd be like 260 Canadian plus shipping, yeah. which would be like 40 if you minimum. Can find it. So untested be, ground troopers. Oh, yeah. untested. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to fix that. <laughs> well, so it'd yeah. be $300 Canadian untested. Hence why we don't have one yet. Yeah. I, I uh, think it'd be hard to run across one of those too. You'd, you'd, uh, be, you'd well, be looking off just eBay. eBay. Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't run across them, no. No, you don't run across anything anymore. Um, so this is made by Al Vima. Yeah. Um, this first posted May 14th, 2020. Um, this build is from the same day. It's a 16K uh, F6 SC. Um, this is the only thing they've posted that I could find. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. And they said, hi, everyone, everybody. I'm developing a scientific calculator for the 2600 in the style of a Casio FX82 or a TI-35. They know their calculator. Yeah, yeah. Texas Instruments. <laughs> For now, it can manage up to numbers up to 11 digits, yeah. two decimal, both positive and negative. Nice. It can perform the four basic operations and square roots. Nice. Also, will manage overflow, for now only for multiplication. At least I think I'm going to also add some memories, basic trigonometry calculations, nice. oh. uh, logarithmic uh, oh, it's going operations. It's not the fastest calculator. Uh, and maybe extend it to manage any arbitrary number of decimal digits. It is intuitive. Its use is intuitive. Use the left joystick to move around the cursor or over a number or operation. Fire to select it. Something like a real calculation. Untested is the marketing term for busted. <laughs> uh, there was a company selling modded ones from a few years ago. I don't think they're doing that anymore. No. They added some additional switches to manipulate the visuals. Nice. Wow. That's cool. Um, this is the first thing I've developed for the Atari 2600. There we go. So I'm using Atari Basic, but I have experience with assembly programming, so I'm coding for some of the math routines in 6202 assembly. Um, probably 6502 maybe. Um, so they can f uh, run fast enough. Um, addition, subtraction, and some parts of multiplication are already coded in assembly. Meanwhile, meanwhile an hourglass can appear if an operation can take some time to perform. If the right difficulty switch is set to A, the display is not updated while they're performing the calculations, and they run many times faster. I'd like to know what appears if it's used on a CRT screen. Well, this is not a CRT, and it's just going to go nuts. 
and it's going to blank out for a long time, so we're not going to do that. Okay. Um, somebody with a CRT will have to test that. I've attached the first prototype. Oh, did you bring the spring to me? Go get it! Um, I've attached the first photo uh, prototype, PAL-60 NTSC. Now, this um, reminded me of a video of a series of YouTube videos we watched called Let's Number File. Oh, yes. Number File's great. And he did a video on unboxing calculators. Um, and he went and he got a whole bunch of really simple calculators to a little bit more complex calculators. And he ran them through a series of tests to test how good the calculators are. I'm not sure. What's clear? No, that's clear. clear. Yeah. There's only multiply, divide, add, and subtract, and clear, and square root right now. Yeah. And equals, and period, and the numbers. Um, does it do priorities? We'll get to that. <laughs> okay. The first test, um, you should watch the number file um, video. It's very funny. Yeah. Because he's like testing these calculators as if they're like cars or <laughs> serious hardware kind of things. Yeah. Okay. The first test was how many digits um, on the display. Go for it. How many digits? Hold on. Clear. Clear error. So just one, two, no, no, do one, two, three, four, five. Now we have to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus two decimals. Ten, eleven, yeah. So that's pretty good, actually. Um, the next one is the square root multiply test. Take the square root of two and then multiply it by the square root of two, which should equal two. So there's the square root of two. Then you multiply it. There are no brackets, though. Um, are there? We don't know. That's what we're testing. Multiply it by 2. I guess, actually, I guess... And then press square root. Yeah, that should work. And it's... it should equal 2. It's thinking. It's got the Trying. hourglass there. I think that's the hourglass. Yeah. Oh, it's taking time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nathan Stram, number file is awesome. I understand maybe 2% of what they're talking about, but it's fascinating. I agree. Yeah. They're pretty good at explaining things, but sometimes they're, they go they, off and they're just like... They get pretty deep off yeah, the deep Yeah, it did end. do it. Did it? I think that's... It's no, thinking. it's still thinking. Sorry. It shouldn't be taking this long to think. Well, what's... So, what's 12 times 12? It's 144. Yeah, I did the square root of 144, and it didn't come out with a 12.00. Oh, it didn't? No. Oh. And I'm like, okay, am I forgetting what the, what 12 <laughs> times 12 is? So I'll show it to you in yeah. a second. So I think the square root function is having some issues. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, I'm just going to put it out there. That was like, I tried the square root of 9 and that worked, but then I did 144 square root and then it came 12.4 something. I don't know what that meant. So I'll, I'll show you again. Let's see if it's thinking. But it's hung up at the moment. How, how do you know if it's thinking? This. It is thinking. Is it? So it did not like... <laughs> Multiplying by the square like root of that. two. No. No, it's stuck. It's still... <laughs> <laughs> we can, I can go get a coffee and we can come We might back. have to reset it. <laughs> yeah, so the square root function... That's... Can you move around? No. no. No, but it didn't last time when it was thinking. It, it did hang up when it... When, but I'll reset. show you... No. Okay. Press button. Let's try this again. So don't do the square root of two. Uh, modded video music is that for sale and how much? Oh, it's 2013 post. Never mind. Does it <laughs> does it obey priorities? No, it seems. We'll get to that. That's a test. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, load it up, please. I love that you have you have the qualifiers for. Uh, I've almost started Robotron. What are we playing again? <laughs> We're playing Scientific Calculator. <laughs> it's a fun game. Play it. <laughs> More importantly. Okay, we won't do that. Oh, what are you doing? You doing something? No, it's okay. Okay. Um, now we're going to do the divide by zero test. Well, can I do the 144 and show you sure. for a second? Because it did work, but you were, you were chatting. Yeah. So 144, and just, just to be clear, I was beginning to doubt myself. The square root of 144 should be 12. So I did it. It had a little symbol, and then it changed to an E. So it's thinking. It's thinking, for sure. Because that looked like a, an hourglass at first, but now it's not an hourglass. No, and this is what it did last time. But it did finish. There we go. Oh, my God. 12.43 or whatever that's Four supposed eight. to be. 4.8. That's way off. Yeah. 
that's way off. So try 12 by 12, 12 times 12, just so we're not crazy. I know. I'm like, am I crazy? It is 144, right? Wrong button. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's because there's three buttons on this joystick, so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So I'm not nuts. There's I was some like, problems. maybe I'm, I'm, I've forgotten my basic math. <laughs> Um, a math category to the Atari words, definitely. Yeah. Well, this would clean house. <laughs> it's pretty far ahead of all the other calculated uh, programs. So what what did you want me to do next? Sorry. The... Divide by zero test. One divided by zero, and it should give an error. Equals. There we go. So it passes. So it that's passes. error. So was it saying error? But no, it, it no. came up with a solution. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was. It was a. Uh, hourglass kind of thing. Half hourglass, yeah. Okay, now we're going to do the um, divide by nine test. Okay. Clear. What am I uh, divided one by? divided by nine. I love that there's a test. That's awesome. I went through his video this morning. Yeah. Now, one divided by nine is point one repeating. One, so one, 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 it one, only one. shows two decimal places. Of but me. does it store all of them? And, then, and how much accuracy? And does it understand one repeating? So you multiply by nine, and it should come out to one. And it no. doesn't. So it does it not fails store. the divide by nine test. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm learning so much today. This is so interesting. Yeah, yeah it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, now we're going to do the order of operations test. <laughs> five. Hold on. Let me clear this. So five. Plus... I don't think it's going to... Yeah. Two. Yeah. Times five equals... Now, if it gives a 15, it's correct. If it's wrong, it gives a 10. It gives a 10. It does no order of operations. <laughs> because five plus two is seven. Oh, wait. No. It, if it's wrong... Oh, wait a second. What? It should oh, be I multiplying see. before... It's, it's ignoring the five, actually. It's just doing the two times five at the end. Um, also, if it's wrong, it could be 35. Okay. Um, so 10 is wrong and 35 is wrong. So this is the way wrong version. So what, what is it doing? What version. is it doing? It's five plus two times five. five. So it's only doing two times five. Yeah. Oh, no. And maybe yeah. I wrote it down wrong. So two times five is 10 plus five is 15. That's yeah. the right. 15 is the right answer. Operations. But it's not even adding the five. It's just doing the last two. Yeah, because it's yeah. just ignoring. Because it the thinks first. it thinks because you have to press equals every time. I think you do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not storing. You have to do the order of operations. It's not, it's not it. It's not doing like, um, for people who know assembly, popping and pulling and popping. Okay. Things because it should be storing in a stack yeah. that five, and it should be storing in a stack the plus. Yes. And then when you press but equal, it should be reversing the stack. Yeah. So you can only do two, two, th you can only do one operation at a time is what is the answer that I'm getting. You can only yes. do one operation at a time. And, and, and for this person can't... to call it a scientific calculator <laughs> is not there yet. No. So, but it, I but mean. this is the first iteration. It's, it's only more a couple like a days of, old. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, it's just a proof of concept then. It's, yeah. there's more, there's more. Maybe about... it needs re reverse Polish notation mode. Yes. It would need for that. Yeah. Actually, that would be two, enter, five, enter, multiply, equals. Yeah. Or multiply, five, I can't remember what it is. Yeah. But you do it in the two things you want, and then the operation. That's reverse Polish notation. Um, Atari Vox would be excellent for this, and no reason why you couldn't. It's just a trigger to say five, zero, equals... Or just say out the result. So, I, was I telling you, my dad, so my dad went to school for math and statistics back in the 60s. Yeah. And he had this awesome calculator, which no longer works. I know we found it years ago. Um, that didn't have a battery. You had to plug it in. You yes. know, plug it into the wall. Yep. And it had red um, digits in the style of where they're superimposed on each other N nixie tubes it kind what of like a called? nixie tube they're layered they're right? layered yeah, that's very cool calculator. and when you typed in your digits it does it in the reverse of a modern calculator so you right. would do 110 
you would have to do zero, zero one one. Right. And but it still had all the functions, and it, using it was a bit of a mind trip, <laughs> but it was yes. so cool. <laughs> Um, and, uh, I don't know if it was Texas Instruments or, but it was very, it was, to me it was old, but apparently I, I looked it up and it was a very common calculator in the early days of, of hand calculators. I'm sure it'd still be worth a lot. Now. And all the buttons were big physical push, like they were physical push buttons, but they yes. were clicky. And I just thought it was the coolest thing, but it, it did not function. It did not oh. work. So we, we probably as children broke it because when we were children, <laughs> yes. you know, it, we probably played with it a lot and we probably broke it, but it was just so cool. It was such a cool little little relic of like '60s computing that mm. he had. So, yeah, yeah, I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's a Nixie tube calculator? Yeah, Nixie tube. So I did get it correct. I don't um, know if it was Nixie tube, but it was. Yeah, those it was layers. a tiny screen. It was a tiny screen still, but it had layers. What's that so. other uh, channel we watch? Um, Techmoan. Techmoan, yeah. So if you want to learn about uh, things like Nixie Tubes, go to his channel. Yeah. Excellent channel. Everything's Red interesting. LEDs. Yeah, I think yeah. they were. But anyway, um, they were not not like a modern calculator. And just, it was just so cool to play with. Yeah. Next test. Mm. Square root of a negative number. Oh. So negative. It can't, it can't do a square root of a non-negative number. I guess clear. I have to clear this. So what are we square rooting? There's a plus minus at the top. Oh, so I see. Yes. Square root of five the example they used there you go there's the negative error perfect so it passes that test well Yay. i nope <gasps> oh my god it doesn't pass the test fails the test of a square it, root of it a gave number. what looked like an error but it didn't hold on it it it, yeah. it seemed to void the negative oh fails that's oh, interesting and then it did the square root of five i guess <laughs> yeah yeah well, yeah that sounds about right two squared is four and so two point two five Oh, no, that's thinking. That's not an error. No. Oh. 2.23, it didn't even get... <laughs> the square root of negative 5 is different than the square root of 5. That's funny. Yeah. Into I values. Oh. Interesting. That is interesting. It is interesting. I guess it maybe it is doing I values. Maybe it's more advanced than we think. Okay. It's, um, it's we can't trying. do this test because it doesn't do signs. Okay. Um, the test that he did on number file was the sign of a very small number should be a different number. And you keep making it smaller and smaller number to test the accuracy of the sign function. And where it fails, like 0.1 should be just off 0 0.1. 0 0.01 should be just off 0 0.01. And when you get to 0 0.00001 and this, the sign of that equals the exact same number, that means the accuracy is gone. And that's how many decimal oh, points see. of accuracy it's able gotcha. to do. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. So that is the calculator. Yeah. Very, uh, very good start. And I'm amazed it can do yeah. square roots on an Atari. It's, it's, <laughs> 2600. It's, it, it, as you say, it's just like, they. it's just starting out. So, so, you know, the layout is fine. The numbers are a little hard to read, like the eight. But I kind of like the pixely nature yeah. of, of the all the figures on the screen and i think yeah obviously they're still working on the actual mathematical function of it but yeah. uh, this is all done by playfield by playfield yeah. okay but i like Amazing. the red and like i said oh the maybe red... the period the, the decimal point is not but um yeah, yeah. but the red's the, good because I, I, yeah. it reminds me of my dad's old calculator <laughs> so that's i think so that's funny. what they're going for really because yeah. they've got the different shades cool. of red up the up the scale yeah and somebody said it's a vacuum fluorescent display actually vacuum yeah. fluorescent yeah okay that makes sense yeah that makes sense. and kev kelly's back just in time alv 2600 the revision post today can do log logarithms <gasps> what Literally. posted today oh it could be done with yeah wow nice i want to have a test for logarithms but that's oh, very yeah. cool i guess the big l is uh, logarithm yeah They've got the E. And the E. They've yeah. got the E. That's um, very cool. Oh, it's updated today. There you go. Yep. Got an update. Not in I time assume for the that's show. an exponent down here. Yeah. The E. Yeah. I don't, it, oh, that one. What's the E oh, for? Oh, no. No, that no. did not work. No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. But I thought that maybe is. it was a it's, two, that. And it's, a, a, yeah. But yeah, three to the power of two. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. Anyway. It's coming. 
I'm, I'm sure this person is able to do all of these things and add them all in. Yeah. That's that's really, really amazing that there'll be a logarithmic calculator. Yeah. But there is a logarithmic calculator with their update. Yeah. So hopefully they see this. Yeah. Um, and, well, uh, this is just a, an early test, right? It's I'm early, sure they know days. all of these. If, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> if you're <laughs> going to set out to make a scientific calculator... It better be accurate. <laughs> you would know all these yeah. things that I'm doing. That's very cool. And I'm, I'm sure they've seen that video that I'm referencing. Smitty B7800, sure. still faster, more accurate than me calculating <laughs> in my head. A, Same a, here. A 2600 doing <laughs> Same it? Same here. Yep. Yeah, I miss those days That's when fun. when uh, when I was like a teenager and doing this stuff in school and trying to do trying to do some even simple functions in my head now are a lot harder than than it, than it used to be. But uh, yeah, we're relying on our our brains less and less now. Yeah. So we're gonna play a cross dock. Um, mm -hmm. It's an exclusive world debut. Uh, it hasn't been posted in the forums. It probably will shortly after, as soon as Kev Kelly gets home. <laughs> he's on his commute he says he's back you guys will be my commute commute listen excellent very cool yeah um this was first posted may 16th he has made a post about it but hasn't released the binary yet it's an 8k f8 game he has made bag boy and cross dock this is his new game um and it is what is it uh wrote it down here oh there it is part of his grocer trilogy this the first game was Bag Boy, your nice. grocery um, clerk taking groceries out to a car. Nice. Or yeah. actually, no, you're collecting carts. Collecting carts. Okay. In the parking lot. Okay. And this is loading in the dock area, loading boxes okay. in the dock area. <laughs> um, so. Might as well go on a theme. Mike. Kev, <laughs> Kevin messaged me um, saying, "I noticed uh, that I'll be w at work tomorrow, so I'll probably miss your live show." No, nope, he'll be able to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> um. If you guys can do me a huge favor, my sons Mannix and Milo will be watching in my place. Hi, Mannix and Milo. Wave. Hi. <laughs> if you can do a shout out to them, that would be awesome. I can't promise that Mannix won't yell at the TV when you guys play, though. <laughs> we won't be able to hear you, but I'm sure you'll be yelling at the TV. So, load it up. Um, so there we are. Cross dock. Um, the game, Crosstalk, play the, the sensational supply chain simulation where you are Doc Boy, the dedicated depot worker, <laughs> diligently disperses delivered product from the designated area onto pallets. Couldn't get nice. more Ds in there? Uh, piled perfectly and primed to be packed into waiting trucks. Someone uh, likes alliteration. Went to the P's. Yeah. <laughs> There's no rest for Doc Boy. The conveyor belt never shuts down, so you must keep loading those pallets into the open bays before the time runs out, so no dilly-dallying. Gameplay. The game has five gameplay options that you can select from the title screen by having Doc Boy use a jack to grab a pallet and put it into the one five bays above. That is really cool that you select what type of game you're playing okay. by loading it into the one of the uh, loading bays one, above. One to five? Yeah. Oh. Um, so the first one is throw boxes. This allows you to toss a box that is in your possession onto the ground. <laughs> if it touches the ground, the box becomes damaged and cannot be put into the pallet. That's the game. <laughs> you Do you catch them? <laughs> Sorry, you catch them? Uh, it just says, it, I guess when we get into it, we'll understand what that means. Um, this allows you to toss a box that is in your possession onto the ground. If it touches the ground, the box becomes damaged and cannot be put onto the pallet. Is that the object of the game is to smash boxes? We'll see. Number two, random jack. This randomizes the pallet jack placement after each time the pallet is loaded into a bay. Oh, there must be just variations. What's happening? I don't know. Be like uh, loading up all the different... Uh, interesting. Uh, number three, smaller pallets. This reduces the mi maximum number... Uh, maximum size of the pallets from 10 boxes to 5. Ah, what am I doing? Oh. I'm throwing them on the ground? Uh, depends which one you went to. I don't know. I went in all of them. Which one did you walk into? What am I doing? Oh, I'm confused. Well. You went too quick. Um, I don't understand. Number 4 is no obstacles. This eliminates the spawning of obstacles. Um, 5. Bays in order. This requires the bays to be loaded in order from left to right. Um, the switches can all be accessed from the title screen except the reset switch. Uh, resets the game back to the title screen. Reset. Game select allows you to increase the number of starting lives. Oh, that's cool. 
Color black and white, this does something. I do. Let's see. I'm confused. Nothing right now. At least not on this screen. I have one point. I'm not sure Left where that one point Left difficulty, A from. is faster conveyor belt, B is regular. <laughs> Um, right difficulty, faster dock boy speed, regular dock boy. Well, let's make sure we're both on oh. A. What is going B. on here? VR. These options can be chosen in any particular order, in any particular combination. As the game progresses, there are three different obstacles that appear during the stage. These are as follows. Swipe. A bar will move from left to right, then back again. If it hits the dock boy or the pallet, it will push it in the direction it's going. Have you seen that yet? I don't know. That's Swipe. No idea what's going on. I have no idea what's well, going on, and let's... I lost my pallet <laughs> or my my yeah. hall or whatever you want to call it. You, I can't you, get to it now. You've, you've destroyed it. Well, I'm pretty sure I died. Pallet jack. The pallet jack. Okay, but Dead. this didn't help me. What is this? <laughs> like I've lost my pallet jack, so. So let's just try variation one. Well, okay, so you were saying you pick it. And then you put it in. Yeah, but then nothing them. started. And then I, I had to. What is going on? <laughs> oh, he doesn't have um, things at the side to check for going off. So I put it here. And then go to work. Oh, you go to work. Okay. Through the turnstile, right? Oh, I have to bring it through the turnstile. Oh, well, you need your pallet. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You need your pallet, Jack. Because right? I put something in all of them. Or maybe not. No. I had to put. There, there. you go. Okay, so what am I doing? We haven't got to it yet. Yeah, you're not helping. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading it out as fast as I can. Um, another obstacle, following swipe, just like above, but now as you're head to the bay doors, it'll move up and down with Doc Boy. Uh, bouncing ball, this will ricochet off the wall, uh, walls and boxes. If it touches a box in your hand, the box will disappear. If it hits the pallet, it will start reducing the number of boxes on the pallet. There's a way to destroy the bouncing ball though. The conveyor belt and dock boy speed eventually get faster. Right now, those two things uh, will occur at 500 and 1,000 points. After, also, after an interval of time, you'll get an extra life. Okay. It doesn't actually... No, this does nothing? Say... Okay. I'm confused. Okay, listen again. I'm not... Just tell me. I don't <laughs> want you to read it. I want you to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. Because... I'm trying to figure it out, too. Yes. <laughs> The dedicated depot worker disperses delivered product from the designated area onto pallets. Okay. Piled perfectly, primed to be packed into waiting trucks. I get that the trucks are either at the top or that's the truck on the side. So you have to pile those boxes up on your pallet. And how am I supposed to do there, that? There, you just threw it on the ground. Now you've got one in your hand and you threw it off the screen. Yeah, but... There's your pallet. Where are you doing over there? Yeah, but... Get to your pallet. Yeah. Or use your pallet to pick them up. Try that. I, this is very bizarre. I'm missing some. I'm missing something key here. There, you've got something. Where am I taking it to? Out? Oh, there's the pallet. <laughs> Throwing boxes. No, all over because the, place. the moment I run into something, I drop it. Oh, the pallet? Yeah. Okay. Am I just doing this? No. Here's Two. The, going all over the floor. But I can I can get rid of them off the floor. But I don't get any points for bring that. Bring the brown boxes. Bring the oh. boxes to the brown oh, line. Oh, that's what you do. Oh. That's what I was saying. Get the boxes. Bring it to your ballot. Yeah, but I. You're, why you keep throwing them on the ground? I'm not purposefully. There oh, you go. Oh, I get it. Okay. That makes more sense now. You pick them up and you you <laughs> throw them onto the pallet. Yes, there. You pick them up and throw them because I kept hitting them and they they would just throw off and I'm like, what's going on? I thought I was carrying them. But... That makes more sense. Ah, I'm stuck. Stuck in the ball and the pallet. There we go. <laughs> okay. I was like, I just keep throwing them. What's going on here? You're throwing them on the ground. What I are you know doing? because they they. It's something funny is going on now. Because before I would run into them, and pick them up, but now I'm now I'm not picking them up. Maybe, Maybe this pallet's full. full. Oh, it's green. There you go. There oh. you go. Five points. Hooray. All oh, right, we're figuring it out now. It just takes some time. When the jack turns green, bring it up to the top. There you go. Okay. So put the jack in a nice place. Don't is... put it off the screen. It's doing weird shit now. <laughs> You're throwing all the boxes all over the place. Because it's doing some weird things. Oh, stop it. Well, you, if you have too many, it does become... There. There you go. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I've got I've got a better idea now of how this is supposed to work. Okay, be. so variation one. Oh. Throw the boxes. This allows you to toss a box in your possession on the ground. If it if the touches the ground, the box becomes damaged and cannot be put on the pallet. Oh my lord. <laughs> it it makes you drop things like kind of Look at look at this. What am I doing? What am I doing now? This is too there you go. Oh, you just... There you go. There, you just touch... Oh, you just touch them. You don't well, have to throw it on the pallet. Kind of. This is level two. This is the second version. Oh, so you can't throw it. There we go. All right. Level two is random jack. This randomizes the pallet jack placement after each time the pallet is loaded onto the bay. So it makes it harder to get to it. But you can move it back. All right, you can move it wherever you want. Okay. Oh, now, now, now we're, now we're... Now it's working. Oh, now it's working. The box pushed the pallet out of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to pick them up, or am I supposed to just let them fall on the floor? Because that seems to be working for me. Throwing is risky. Oh, now it's all green. Oh, my God. It's faster, maybe? Have I upped? Ah! Why do you keep dropping things? Stop dropping things. Oh, I see. Oh. It doesn't have to be on the pallet, then. So there's a pile... And there's a pallet, and there's boxes. Now we, okay. And there's a lot of boxes on the ground. Kev Kelly must be like, what the hell are these people <laughs> doing? <laughs> oh, it, makes more, it makes more sense now. It makes more sense. I get it. It's not obvious at first. All right. And oh. then that goes out the door. Oh, it's red. And then, that makes sense. Okay. Now you've, okay. we've got it, Kev. We've, we've got, got it, it, Kevin. We've got it. I'm sure you're kids are screaming at the tv, TV. right now what are you doing <laughs> you're not playing it properly uh, there we go and then we pick up this buddy and then we pick up this buddy and so it's it's take it out the door it's a lot it's, it's good a, it's i like it the, it's like very it. very cool it's in the vein of uh pressure cooker a little bit yeah where things are coming along you have to get them you have to pile them up deliver them because pressure cooker is like you have to deliver the burgers um this is very different gameplay because you have to it's take it's... the boxes to a specific <sighs> spot oh that was the end oh you almost did it four to five i think oh no you lost a life yeah i lost a life I don't know why you lost a life. Too many boxes on the ground? Uh, there might be a time limit. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Oh, now you have to avoid that. Ah, now there's Do dangers. I? Yep. That is the swipe. A bar will move from left to right and then back again. If it hits Doc Boy or the pallet, it will push it in the direction it's going. So you don't want to... How many uh, boxes on the ground before it gets upset? Does it say? It doesn't really say. Oh, now variation one, where you could throw boxes on the ground, that kind of saves you from too many boxes piling up and you um, failing because of that. That's what I'm guessing. And that thing on the right, I'm guessing, is the truck, right? Is it a bay? A truck bay? Or... Hard to say. Carl G says this is pretty cool. It is. Uh, there are options better... There are options better to walk. Uh, the game needs a lot. Needs to have an idiot forklift driver who leaves loaded pallets where you can't get the jack underneath it. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. So I think it's best to put the pallet in the middle because the boxes are randomized wherever they are. And that would kind optimize of. time because over there it's very far away from all the boxes. There we go. Well, it also depends on where there's space for it. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's better. Ah! Oh, oh, oh what oh. happened? This is not good. <laughs> it's in the oh you're picking up like non-boxes oh. no i can't get to it now picking now up. i'm screwed <laughs> this is what happened last time it got forced into a corner so i'm yeah <laughs> forced into a corner re reset i think so i i can't get to the pallet now yeah. interesting he hasn't put limits on the screen of where you can go like sorry you can... i didn't mean to even pick that it's a little uh i like the black yeah I 
I would like it to stay black. Like the other colors are really garish and really here? quite quite bright. Um, something else could change color, like um, the palette jack or the play field, but uh, the whole screen changing is a bit a bit jarring. What do you think? Screen changing, sorry? The background changing. What's With the happening? color? Yeah, changing like oh, all I red. I don't mind that too yeah. much. Oh, that's great. Should we go. Like this is it's a bit it's a bit much. I like the floor being black. I, I do like the floor being black, yeah. yeah. I do. Um Carl G says, yeah, I'd change the playfield color, but not the background. Yeah. Yeah. Like change the gray to something else, like yeah, the maybe. default air, uh, areas that work, to colors that work well with black. Like you could change it to the red and different stuff like that. Oh, black again. See, it's nice. I like the black. Nice and calm. I do like the black, yeah. yeah. It, it reminds me of what a warehouse would look like, <laughs> yeah. I guess. I don't yeah. know. So which option did you pick? This is two still. Two? Yeah. Random jack, so it puts it in different orders. Yeah. So we'll have to try the other... Um... Oh, we should do option five. You have to do the bays in order. Not that it's like... At the top? Yeah. Yeah, that's easy enough. Yeah, that's not really a... Too much more of a difficulty. Maybe it gets harder in later levels. There you go. Now you're getting it really fast. You're putting the... Um... Well, you pallet jack in the middle. It's it's uh it's a little funny because if you accidentally collide with any of those packages, yeah. you drop things. So that's oh. why sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's like I'm trying to get it somewhere and I just kind of abandon like there, right? Like <laughs> like like I I have to put the package on the pallet before I can pick up the Oh the right. pallet again. Do you know what I mean? So it automatically picks So up it the box. actually kinda of makes it a little challenging. little bit more challenging. <laughs> Oh, oh, died. I didn't. That's what happened last time. I didn't quite. I don't know why. Oh, come on. And what is the bottom bar for? Like, it's really long right now. And it's, now it's going down. Is that the timer? It must be the timer. Oh! I, I thought maybe that would take a life. From it's me. almost like Warehouse Frogger. Ye a little bit. Uh, Miss Sinclair says this looks fun. It is fun. It's it's a manic, it is fun. fast game. No, like, I love games like this. Like, what were is you that, racing what's against? It's a cooking game. That you like that we play. Oh, I don't know any of those cooking the two, games. Two player. You have to chop things and cook, cook things and, and make make burgers and yeah. make orders. No, the, I love that game. That's great. Really this is kind of in that uh, vein where overcooked, you have to, overcooked, overcooked. Where yeah. you have to do things, uh, multiple things fast, and you have to watch a bu bunch of stuff. I love. Uh, yeah, I I think those are great games. Those are yeah. fun games, and they're fun. Ga they're always. No, oh, no. I didn't do that. <laughs> What is going on? It's, oh, it pushed it. That's it's good. because it was offset from you. But it was weirdly adding things to the palette that I was running into. Yeah. Which I mean, it's a bug. Oh, yeah. Now it's doing something I mean, really just, funny. I can't get rid out. of it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now we've got it. I kind of like that. I don't know if these are bugs or what what's going on, but the fact that it is a little manic, it's it's the good. The blue background's okay. Uh, the, the red's, red's a, a bit, bit much. Jarring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kev Kelly says, I like the blue and the green background. I can work on the playfield colors. Yeah. Um, I like the black the best. I like the black, yeah. I don't know why, but I think maybe because the gray stand. Oh, now oh, it's. Careful, just let go of it. No, no, you can't. It wasn't oh, letting. No. It wasn't letting. Your like... stack is outside of the play yeah, field. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm dead again. I don't think I can do anything here. Okay, unless let me I can, play. Unless I can wrap around somewhere. Oh, you might be able and to. I'm getting... Go to the right hand now side. Now I'm getting trapped in the pa in the packages. And then wrap no, around? No, no, I can't wrap He does have a block yeah, there. Yeah, it did push my palette off the screen. Okay, I want to play this. Yeah. Okay, do you mind if I run up and get another coffee? I'll be right back. In your coffee. <laughs> it's fun though. So I'm going to do option five, the um, bays in order. Okay. So you have to hold the button? Yeah. There we go. Then I go to work? Yes. So you have to hold the button, then you drop it. So how do you... So you can't go... Oh, that's dangerous. Ah! No, it already did it. Oh no. Pushed it off the screen. Oh, what? Oh, I picked option two accidentally. That's okay. So, press, you hold down the button to pick up the palette and to pick up that. You let go of it. Okay. Now 
can you load it from the side? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can load it as long as you touch the brown with your box, then you're good. So I'll let's just do it in order anyway. Yeah, it kind of drops your palette randomly. So I had that in my hand, so I might as well do it. Yeah, see it dropped the palette. It must be me running into a box and it loading the box on. And that sometimes pushes your palette carrying off to the side too much. And then, then you can actually push it off the screen. See, it dropped it there. Why? Why is it dropping it? See? It's not, it's randomly dropping it. Is it because I'm going on an angle? No. It's just random. Hmm. I'm falling behind here now. Let's get that over here. Yeah, it's just time. anymore so it's full ah get it up there oh i see yeah it's the time do you get extra time every time you load one up i think got two more to go and not much time left a little bit of time i think i should be able to make it okay let's see if we get extra time no we don't we don't get any extra time next time we have a box there maybe we do Load it, load it. So it doesn't really matter how many boxes are on the floor. Sometimes boxes get in the way. The boxes push your pallet over. Cool. A lot easier to understand when you're playing the game. That is not a box. Oh, it's full. And I made it just in time. There we go. Oh, I got a box accidentally. Get that. No. There we go. Oh, no. No, 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 it's off the screen. I think that happens when you're holding the pallet and then you accidentally put pick up a box and then you are pushing the pallet accidentally off the screen with the box you're carrying because you're trying to get the pallet again. That makes sense. Um, I added them to break up the monotony. Uh, okay, so let's... Yeah, I don't know why he's dropping. It even happens on the title screen. There, see, he's dropping the pallet, even when you're holding down. Now, let's see when it happens. Try and figure out when that happens. When I'm moving left and right rapidly, nothing. Up and down rapidly, nothing. Uh, in a circle, yes. He drops it when you go in a circle counterclockwise or clockwise it's some sort of pattern oh up oh i can do it easily if i go up to the left and down to the right he drops it instantly of course i pick it up again yeah he drops it instantly up to the left and down to the right so that that's why he drops it sometimes Let's see if i can do it another way up up to the right and down to the left he drops it. It seems to drop it when you do diagonals, but not pure up, down, or left, and right. Only diagonals. So I don't know if that's a bug or on purpose that diagonals make you drop it, but it is, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> So if you go in pure left, right, up, down, it's safer. So I, I wouldn't think that's a that's part of gameplay because that seems to be a... So if you want to move around the pallet um, jack without any issues, you move it pure up, down, left, right. So that's going to help, actually. So I have to load them in order now. Oh. Good. I figured out a bug. Yeah. Why he was drop dropping the pallet jack. Yeah. Um, randomly. Yes. If you move up, down, left, right only. Yeah. When you have the pallet jack in your possession. It's green now yet. Um, you won't drop it. Accidentally. 
but if you start doing diagonals, he'll sometimes drop the jack. Okay. See, right now, I thought... up, down, left, right, doesn't drop it. If I move diagonals, oh, he starts dropping that it. That makes like, a lot of totally sense. Totally dropping it all the time. I thought I was dropping it because I might have been running into things that were appearing on the play field. You that know, does like happen those too. those boxes. And that might be happening when you're in the lower half, but yeah. um, but that okay, that makes more sense because I kept dropping it. I'm like, this is really, it's kind of like adds an element of difficulty to it but it didn't quite seem right either yeah. so yeah and there's also okay. a bug where yeah. you notice you, you noticed when you were carrying the jack yeah and you ran into a box yeah and all of a sudden you're carrying the box yes um and it was pushing the cart out of the way it was that's not supposed to happen oh, okay because right now i'm carrying yeah. a box yeah it can't push the jack out of the way it just adds to the stack but it anything. was thinking i think you need to there you go yeah. it was thinking that the box is on the floor oh. and pushing the cart over right because that happens yes um but because it's in your hand and you're trying to get the cart again it just keeps pushing it off the screen well and you're trying to well it, it did it and a couple of times like it. in a crazy way right and maybe yeah. if you're in line with the boxes coming off the conveyor belt maybe that's that's it what's doing did it did happen a lot there yeah that because makes sense. That would kind of make sense. Good job. Oh, oh. I died for some reason. No, nope. you can you move now? The new, I have to press the button to start the new oh. life, but I don't know why I died there. Because that thing hit you, or I ran out of time at the same time I oh maybe made the level, but maybe I, but that I would make the sense. Level, though. You finished the level, but somebody does have it to restart? see a replay. Yeah. It restarts your timer. Yeah, but it does. For some reason, I died at the exact same time. Yeah. I finished the level. This is really cute. I really this like it. This is a it. really good game. It is really fun. I love games like this. I love, you know, anything you have to, um, where you're racing against time and you're... Doing stacking things. Yeah. And... They're just so much fun. And they're, they're easy to play, I find, games like this. Like, they're, they're hard in the sense that to get a good score or to meet the time limit. And, yes. Um, Avoid but, obstacles. But the actual gameplay is quite simple, and so that, that makes yeah. it really easy to just pick up and play. Yes. Like Overcooked, That's that game is, is a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a bit of a learning curve here. Um, well. The instructions need just a bit more. A tweaking. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that. I had the box and the palette at the same time. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's that, an issue. That, <laughs> that causes some problems for sure. Um, I do like the gradation and the colors going from the top to the bottom. Like the boxes yes. change colors. And, and Oh, where the position on the yeah, screen. Yeah. I, I like that. I like the look of it. It's just like a side effect of yeah. making things easier on the programmer. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but I like, I've always liked that. I, the, there's something about that that I find really distinctive to Atari 2600 look, games. It's there. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't really do what you want it to. But, a couple uh, bugs. But Very good first. It's Kev, uh, Kev Kelly? Is, Kev Kelly. Is the developer? Yeah. Yeah, I was short on space, so I didn't program diagonals yet. Okay, that makes oh, sense. Oh, So okay. if a box spawns on your pallet, the collision detection pushes the jack. Yeah, we have seen that. I have seen that happen. It's, yes, um, and that's fine. It's It seems mm, to be overdoing it. Uh, I had tried doing collision checks on all three together. Um, the boxes on the ground are play field. The box in the hand is the ball. Cool. Right, that's yeah. what I thought. It changes into, because it yeah. has to move with a lot of precision when it's in your hand. Mm. Um, pixel at a time so it has to change into something other than play field when it's in your hand mm. so i'm playing option five where i have to do it oh now it's oh, oh it's moving around now, now. i think you're safe at the bottom though i think so. you are i think it's just when you're trying to run it back to the uh the base i like this i like this a lot it's really cute it's yeah. a really cute game oh, what this... why is my time your time doesn't reset each level that's no. why i died yeah. so you just do as much as you hum humanly can that's not yeah fair no that's that's fair. I'm gonna die in a two seconds. Well, it, 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 it means that your goal is to do die. It, your goal is to do as much as you, as you can. But the thing is, if, if your timer oh my goodness, that's so much nicer. your timer resets when you die. But what would be the difference to just having one timer and you just do as much as you can on one life? Well, it wouldn't be any different. You it can't be... keep going. There's a definitive end. end. Yeah, there is a definitive after X seconds. After X game. number of lives, yeah. No, not lives. No, 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 no. But if you have lives, your lives have a time limit. So unless you're oh. losing time... This guys, the, the guys actually die. They like, oh, eh, I they, have only five yeah, minutes to but live. You, it, it, in a way, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you have triple the time with one life or three lives because it's the same amount of time and, and less. I've never seen a game like that. 
I've, I, I can't think of a game where your life has a, an expiry t- no, time No, no, but unless you, unless you Even build... if you do three levels with one unless... life, you still die. No, but, but unless you build something in so that you gain time back, like yeah. little power-ups, and yes. that would be the way to keep, keep progressing forward, because yes. otherwise you do have a very defined period of time yeah. for your three lives, so... Um, I don't see anything about getting... Do you get power? Time. You don't get more time with each level. No, because might... I just did a level and it's like the exact same amount of time and I died. That's why I died instantly when I finished that level once. Yeah, yeah. So, Kev, that's something to think about. Every bay gets you more time. Every bay gets oh. you more time. So, the faster you load, ah, yeah. that makes sense. I that still makes died sense. anyway and I did it really fast. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that makes sense. So, that's where you get your power up. But, I mean, you're sort of. You're still limited. It, yeah, you're still limited. Yeah. So um, there, there, there would be a maximum number of levels you could do if you were super, super fast. Ah uh, no, I'm stuck in the menu. <laughs> I died. Oh no, I went too far down. There's no checks on the title screen. Oh. To where you can go. Oh, I see. And you can go off the screen, and I've, I've killed myself. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh I see you. No, you're behind the bar. There can I you am. get around it? Oh, <gasps> you can. Made myself back. Oh no, lies. Yeah, you can. I do it. like the fact that you can walk in behind here. Yeah. But as soon as you walk in behind here, the controls go opposite. Yeah, they do. I noticed up that too. Up is down and down is up. Yeah, that's so and funny. As soon as you get to the top, you have to press up I again. I don't I don't I think that 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 gives a character. I don't have an issue with that. I think this is cool, but he has to walk normally though. No, 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 he doesn't. <laughs> no? no, I like you it. You like the backwards? I like the backwards. And the funny thing is it you feels get like an stuck, Easter egg to me. You get stuck <laughs> under this 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 bar down here. You yeah, can't you cross do. that bar. Yeah. You can that direction. You can you go through, but that. you can't get back up. No, I like stuff like that. I'm sorry. He, you As long as you can get him back out. Oh, then. I'm lost. I'm lost. Well, that was cross dock. It's very cool. I, I do very I, I do think cool. it's really fun. I like it. Keep keep those things in on the, on the title screen. I like it when stuff like that happens. I don't know why. It feels like an Easter egg. Just make sure you um, can't walk past the... As long as you can get back, you're yeah, as okay. As long as you can get back. As long as you can get back. <laughs> no, it's fun. I like it. I like it. Great game. Yeah. Really good stuff. Um, and as you do um, play balancing, like game balancing, and um, update the colors and update the bugs, it's going to be really, really slick game. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's fun even playing on its own, even with the bugs. So it's I, totally I, fine. It's very I, playable. Uh, but the diagonal is. thing is is an issue. I think um, going in diagonals and dropping no, the palette that's all the annoying. time <laughs> um, that does get annoying after a while. I mean, it could be left in as like, don't go too crazy. You'll uh, drop your palette. But, but but sometimes those little bugs actually elevate the gameplay. It it, it adds a an unusual challenge it to it. Certainly does. <laughs> um, so now we're going to be playing Robotron 2084. Mm. And we're going to be playing an updated version of it. Nice. He just sent it to me 10 minutes before the show. Okay. Saying, hey, there's an updated version. Nice. Um, and this is the updated full version. This is not the demo version. This is an exclusive um, full version for us. Um, so this is Robotron 2084. We debuted it on Wednesday. He released a demo version of it yesterday evening. Yesterday at some point. can't remember when. Um, so it was first posted uh, online May 16th. This build is from today. 32K CDFJ game. Other games by uh, Champ Games, uh, a.k.a. John Champo and friends. Uh, Archon, Avalanche, Champ Sports Hockey, Champ Force Baseball, Conquest of Mars, Elevator mm-hmm. Action, Galagon, Gorf Arcade, Ladybug, Lunar Lander, Mappy, Ripoff, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade, Super Pac-Man as a collaborator, mm-hmm. Tutankham, Wizard War, Arcade, and Zookeeper. Some of those are in works in progress. Most yeah. of them, actually. <laughs> He's getting yeah. through them. Um, you can download the demo of this in the forums. We'll go through what the demo limitations are. Um, because I think it's the first five levels, and mm-hmm. then it repeats, but I'm not sure yet. And we last played this on Wednesday. So the demo was released yesterday. Let's take a look at what... And to huge... like. Our last show is probably the fastest watched show ever on Wednesday. It, it got 500, 600 views in, <laughs> yeah. in one day. It yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so you can see what the anticipation for this game was. Yeah. It was it was just crazy. 
Um, says, hello all. As some of you may have heard, the Champ Games secret project was revealed this week on Zero Page Homebrew's Twitch stream, Robotron 2084 for the 2600. First nine levels. Okay, then it reverts to level five. Okay, thank you. Um, the object. Uh, the object of Robotron is to guide your player around the screen and save the last human family, Dad, Mom, and Mikey, mm -hmm. while avoiding the vast array of enemies, including uh, the grunts. Uh, robots constantly pursue your player and speed up as the wave progresses. The hulks roam around aimlessly and are indestructible and would destroy humanoids if they come in contact with them. Mm -hmm. The spheroids are... Uh, uh, circular enemies that fly around the borders of the screen, you gotta shoot them. Um, launching enforcers, you gotta shoot them. Mm. And then they start launching things out. The enforcers will pursue your player and fire a steady stream of spark missiles deadly towards you. The brain robotrons will wander around the screen searching for humanoids to program into deadly progs. Brains will also fire cruise missiles that must be avoided. Deadly Deadly, deadly cruise missiles. <laughs> Quarks move around in erratic patterns uh, and spawn yeah. tank robotrons. Yeah. What do the quarks look like? They, uh... Oh, they're like square, squares? Yes, they're like... squares. They're squares. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are, those are bad. Tank yeah. robotrons are bad too. Not, yeah. not the worst. No. I think the cruise missiles and the sparks are the worst. The sparks are pretty crazy, yeah. Uh, tank Robotrons will uh, pursue your player and fire bouncing bombs that rich ricochet off walls, making them difficult to avoid. Electrodes are scattered throughout the level and are deadly to the touch. They don't move. They just yeah. sit there. And However, they will destroy grunts if they collide with them also, which is oh. a nice little bonus. Hmm. Uh, control. Robotron supports multiple control schemes. One joystick with no auto-fire. Left dif difficulty on B. I'm not super happy about the no auto-fire one. You have to keep pressing the button yeah i, I switched away much from that immediately yeah yeah in this mode good. you can use the left joystick to move your player and press the button to fire in a, the current direction mm -hmm. you can continually fire in one direction by holding down the joystick button move in a d another direction to fire in a different direction release the button and move in the new direction you wish to fire and we didn't notice this but you can fire in place as well yes you stop oh yeah which we didn't use much no you stop hold down the button and you can Fire circular, yeah. very much like uh, Thomas Yant's uh, Robot City, I, so where yeah. you can stop, press a button, and fire. Well, I was when I w played it for the first time because I haven't played Robotron. I was kind of firing in place a little, mm. but you really need to dodge. So firing in oh place, you're dead. Is is doesn't last very long because <laughs> you have to run away. Things go for you. Things go for you so quickly. Yeah. Um, if you have a Genesis That's controller, you can press the yeah. second button to fire backwards. We didn't get to try that. Yeah. We'll try it today. Um, one joystick with auto fire. It's pretty much the same. Uh, two joysticks. Uh, he labels this as preferred. If you have two joysticks, you can use the left joystick to move your player and the right joystick to fire, which actually two people playing at the same time was actually really fun. Mm -hmm. Just like the arcade, there's no special settings that need to be done to enable two joystick mode since the buttons aren't used. So you just use both joysticks. Note that you can also play co-op game by having one player move and one player fire. Mm -hmm. Gameplay from the title screen. Um, let's just load that up and get something on the screen so you guys aren't looking just at our faces. Um, Atari's purring away here, asleep. Sorry, <laughs> he's uh, uh -huh. very, very happy right now. Robotron. Robotron! So, it's the title screen. Um, so, there's three different types of levels. There's standard, uh, five lives, uh, four lives to start, three quarters of the enemies from the advanced level. Novice is uh, five lives to start, half the enemies of the advanced levels. Less enforcers and tanks are spawned. Grunts move slower. Uh, advanced level, three lives to start. The number of enemies on each level match the arcade. Mm. And he said the one we were playing uh, on Wednesday yeah. was three quarters of the arcade level. Now he's put it up to the arcade level. The advanced? The advanced. Yeah, because we were playing... We were playing standard a lot of time, novice a lot of time. But but advanced I was going to say bit. last night we pulled a version on the Xbox. Oh, we'll get to that. oh okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you talk about that. <laughs> it was it was hard. It was very very hard. Yeah. Bonus lives are awarded every 25,000 points. Oh, he's changed the names. That's fine. <laughs> he said he said he'll change those back if we want to our names. Oh. <laughs> for for our versions or it's just a switch he has to throw. 
Yeah, no. The one we played had our names in the game. Yeah, and Erlen. Uh, Erlen. I did. Baby he Erlen. did finally message me back, and he was very, very excited oh. that his name showed up on there. So at some point, you'll have to see if I don't know uh, if Erlen can come and play his his version of it. So well, you'd have to be here because this can't be played over the internet. No. Uh, at some point advanced. that that yeah at some point it'll happen yeah it'll happen so. uh, we've yeah. got a year <laughs> well yeah before this gets released he can sit on the he can sit on the patio and play it through the window wipe down the joystick <laughs> after. Yeah. Uh, game over your game ends when all your reserves have been destroyed uh, if you obtain a high score your high score entry will be displayed for the current skill level yeah it's like normal blah 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 um Credits, thanks to Nathan Strum, who did all the graphics for the game and the game testing and assisted with the design. It should also be noted that the sounds have been borrowed from the 7800 version of Robotron, which was developed by David Brown. We're currently trying to reach Mr. Brown to obtain his permission to include his sounds in the game. So obviously he's very happy with the sounds and he'd like to put them in the game. We estimate the game is about 80% done. Wow. Due to the other project, the release is not expected till early 2021 because he's got a lot of other games in the pipe. Yeah. Uh, here's a playable demo if you'd like to download it and give it a try. It works on real hardware, recommended. The latest version of Stella and Stella Rater, it will also work on the Retron 77, mm. the latest community build. It will not work on the Flashback Portable. So he's outlined everything. Nice. Demo is fully playable with the following restrictions. Uh, when the player completes Wave 9, the game will wrap back to Wave 5. Mm. In the release version, all, you, all 40 unique waves will be included, and up to 99 waves will be playable. And that's the version we have. It's a full version. There's no, currently no save key support in the game. This has been disabled, but it'll be available in the final version. I don't know if he's put that in yet. He may not have bothered putting it in. Um, any feedback is appreciated. Have fun, John. So you can download this game right now. Uh, Nathan is not only a great artist, but also a very good game tester and game designer. So that's very helpful that he can do early game testing before it's even released to the public or even announced. And he can work on uh, the graphics at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so the, we're going to take a look at the arcade version of Robotron very quickly um, just to see what it looks like and... Um, point out things okay. that are that are different because we didn't get a chance last time because we were just like what is the game well, we, we didn't know what it was so. we had no <laughs> idea what the game was yeah <laughs> so that was a bit of a challenge i was really impressed because again robotron's not a game i really know yeah. and we were we were playing um the xbox 360 has an arcade compilation last so we we're night. playing yeah. that version of it and um i would say other oh. than the oh, oh what is the first enemy you you encounter um, everything, all the little the little enemies on the screen are very true to the original. I can't do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. They, um, they with look the exception of the red box, the the ones that look like red boxes in this version. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know the names of them. Right I now. can't remember. You you said them, but I can't remember the names. The first enemy, really. Grunts. The, no. The yeah. grunts are the big green ones, aren't they? No, hulks they? are the green ones. Oh, I'm I sure see. The, the hulks grunts. Are the green ones. Yeah, so the grunts look a little different. Other than that, I think he did, he's done an amazing job at making everything on the screen look like the original oh, arcade version. Oh, yeah, incredible. Um, and and it's totally understandable how that would be. That's a limitation of how many. There's things, a limitation of of yeah. How many things you can put on the screen? Exactly. Right? It's beautiful though. Yeah. It done a really really good job. So. Yeah. Lord, Lord Howard Hertz says, uh, I, I knew the 7800 version, I dare say this is better. Yeah, I mean, he's got gameplay nailed yeah. down. So this is the arcade version. Oh, John, uh, John's, in the, John's in the chat, he's watching, he's been lurking. <laughs> Pipes up now. Yeah. Welcome. Hey, John. This, this is the arcade version. And you can see the grunts there. Are fully formed. But if you look, you know, there's a red, a green level to them. Yeah. Then kind of yellow feet. Oh! Red. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they actually move. Oh, they move perfectly. See how they're moving? Yeah. They don't walk smoothly. No. So that Not like the hulks. The hulks, and I think John did a beautiful job on the hulks. Oh my. Yeah, they're amazing. But the grunts, see how they kind of chunkily move? Yeah. That worked perfectly for the translation yeah. into play field version. Yeah. So. I Just by funny. sheer coincidence that, that it worked out that way is, is unbelievable. Yeah. 
Those are sparks, right? Those guys that run around. Yes. Yeah. I need to. I need to move. Them. <laughs> um. I think, yeah. So spheroids made the enforcers, which make the sparks. So those are the enforcers, the gray, yeah. uh, triangle-headed guys. There. Yeah, it's true. The sparks are just terrible. The enforcers, I find, also swarm. Really, so. Yeah. Um. So you really want to shoot this. Spheroids as soon as, as possible. possible. Luckily, they go into the corners yeah. of, of the screen. Is so, this an actual game or is this a cannot die? Uh, that's a good question. I think this is a cannot die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Just got hit. Yeah. Um, this is this game. Is super I think this is the brains. Which oh, I love the brains. The multicolored brains. Oh, so good. <laughs> uh, in the 2600 version. Perfect. Yeah. Zaggy cruise missiles, they yeah. go right for you. You cannot stop moving, or they will get you. Now you can shoot everything, except for the people who are trying to rescue you. Uh, this looks like the same video I referenced. Uh, yeah. He uh, has cheats turned on, he walks yeah. through enemies. Yeah. And it is a hard game. It is. It's a really hard game. Yeah. And when we played it last night, we played the Xbox 360 version of it. Like, I made it to level 5. Barely. Barely, yeah, yeah. Barely made it to level 5. And, you know, using the Xbox controller, so you do have one for moving and... Um, one for shooting. Yeah, one for shooting thumbsticks. Which is, is fine. I don't think they're as good as joysticks because my thumbs tend to slip off them every once in a while because you're constantly using them. Yeah. Like, just like, all the time. Those are Beautiful. the forks. Yes. The boxes, which yeah. spawn the tanks, which spawn Forks. the bombs. And those are the bombs. Yeah. They don't go after you. They just ran, randomly get surrounded. And so that, now we've seen all the enemies. Very, very close. Yeah. Let's look back to the actual game. And um, you'll see that the translation's so good. It like, is so good. The look of the hulks there like look at the walking motion oh they're great the animation in the tour yeah. look at look at the tanks yeah exactly the same yeah <laughs> like you're not missing anything and yeah. especially with the smooth gameplay yeah look at the, the brains look at the brains, brains. they even perfect. have the they're flashing, flashing colors flashing. unbelievable yeah. <laughs> job nathan, nathan on yeah. the graphics the the job the the graphics are so good mm. and even this this rotating menu yeah is unbelievable yeah there's all the names yeah. Um, so let's get back to my notes. And uh, there's actually also a great comparison video. Um, probably a lot of you know about this channel called Gaming History Source, mm. where they take a game, say, like Robotron, and then they get all the different variations on the arcade and the consoles, and they compare all of them. Dare I say, this beats a lot of them. Um, even yeah. like computer versions of it, like yeah. the C64 version and the many, many other versions. Yeah. Just because of, mostly because of the smoothness of the gameplay. Um, obviously there can be more detailed graphics in some of them, but they're just, they just look chunky and not, not polished. Um, and that's really one thing of the C, of the 2600 is that gameplay can be very smooth because you have 60 mm -hmm. frames a second to work with. And you have to do it really well. Um, okay, let's let's jump into it. Um, this is single joystick. I don't know if uh, you want to play two joysticks or, wow. or what your favorite scheme is. Well, I haven't... Yeah. You didn't play too much of I it? I didn't play too much of the two joystick one. I'm fine with playing it like this for now. Now, we thought that level nine was a bug because it missed the border. Remember? Yeah. But that's in the, the original, like, after looking at videos, I've been playing it. So level 9 is, is, is a borderless. I guess that's because it's like a threshold level. It's like this this level, it, you go to something different. Is it standard? This is standard, right? Uh, I don't know, whatever you press it Ah, on. they got me. Yeah, Jarvis's William games are quite efficient at quarter sucking. Oh, I, I think that's a reason I never played this in the arcade. Because I played it last night on the Xbox 360 oh, yeah. version, and it's just. I can't last five minutes in the game. If 
five minutes, I'm done. Yeah. So having the novice and standard, um, you know, options for this game is going to make this into a game that people can enjoy <laughs> and it's very, very playable. So you can, like, reduce it right down to a novice and it's like, oh, you can play it for a while. And... I always have trouble switching the... There, there we direction. go. The direction, yeah, of my shot, because you can't hold it, you have to stop. Uh, Esmer says, I need to start playing standard, then move on to expert. And having yeah. to say standard is pretty hard. Well, it's, I think you said it's 75%? I can't remember now, but yeah, like standard that. is pretty hard. There's a lot going on in standard. Oh, is it not uh, doing auto fire? It's not. There we go. Oh. I can hold it. So, it has now been confirmed that the Ed Ladin Twin Stick 7800 does work with Robotron 2084. Nice. So all those people who, have, who are lucky enough <laughs> or shelled out the cash for the Ed Ladin Twin Stick, it does work. It has two arcade joysticks, and it is made for this game. Like, that is going to be a huge oh, really? selling feature nice. um, of that Twin Stick. And uh, thank you to Ed Ladin for uh, reposting our video. Oh, nice. On their page. Because, nice. you know, Why now not? this is a great <laughs> great way to, to uh, sell their very unique joystick. Yeah. That could work perfectly with this game. And I'm sure as things progress, there's going to be... No, but you have to hit the button to change direction. Change. Um, and as things progress, some people are going to come up with a way to change joysticks. Probably do a like a 3D print, 3D mold of it for the standard 2600 joysticks, or maybe something will be sold with the uh, Robotron 2084, so that or as an option for the Atari H sword, um, something that you can put two joysticks into. Uh, Ed made it with the 7800 version in mind. I also use it with my 5200 version. Ah, very nice. cool. Uh, me too. I was wondering why James and Tanya were doing so well. The advanced mode on the main game. Yeah, it wasn't the full version. <laughs> uh, there's a bug in the demo I posted. So the advanced has levels 25% less enemies. I'm posting a fix soon. This version has the fix. So this advanced version is the real advanced version. Okay. So I don't know what you're buying. Did you so I'm pretty sure standard. I don't I didn't change restarted. anything. Oh, I'm sure it was standard. Okay. Whatever was before was we should know. standard, yeah. We should know so that we can, you can show people. No, I'm I'm fairly certain this is standard. So I was looking up world records on Robotron and it's very it's... difficult to understand what the world records are. Because it looks like people can play Robotron forever, the arcade version. I don't know how they play Robotron forever. I don't either. It's such a challenging game. The highest listed score I could find is 287 million points. And it looks like they have to place time limits on how long people can play Robotron for. Because they can just go forever. So I guess it just maxes out at a certain level if you can do that level perfectly and you're fine. Yeah. And I was watching some people play the game for points and, and I was looking at strategies we were looking at them last night. Yeah. And it looks like they just the strategy they're using is they clear a path to all the humans. So maybe try a beginner. Yeah, you're on standard. Yeah, that's go. what I thought. A novice? Yeah. So it looks like they just clear a path to the humans, and then they go around the edges and stay around the edges and shoot the enemy. Well, they go in a circle almost, is what I noticed. Is that they'll, they'll, they'll get a path to, to the wall, the grunts will follow them, and, and they then... can't stop moving. That's one thing I noticed. Yeah, never stop moving. And Especially then they... at the higher levels, like nothing's really falling. And they the might leave one enemy to catch the rest of the humans that are present. Yeah. So you can get the extra points. Because yeah. they're playing for points. And they 
just but they're amazing at dodging and like some of the levels there's so many enemies on the screen they just seem to dodge i'm like oh my goodness they're so good at dodging uh welcome retro gaming denmark uh this is brand new it was just unveiled wednesday and the demo was posted yesterday this is for the 2600 um uh, only i mean you can put it in 7800 uh, i don't know is there, I'm pretty sure there is already a Robotron for the 8-bit, uh, Atari 8-bit system. I think that was in the compilation video of Let's Compare. Um, so there is a strategy wiki as well. There's uh, Nathan Strum also posted Robotron 2084 guidebook.com, which I have not been to. So, the updates from the last version we played, and possibly the demo that John sent to me today, is the one we're talking about. Um, here's the latest with a few bug fixes and enhancements. Uh, completed scoring animation included the Hulk, Spheroid, Enforcer, Quark, Tank, Brain, and Electrodes now. Um, scoring animations. And does that mean the scoring animations on the title screens? Is that? Do you want to play it two joysticks? No, I liked it when we were both playing. Actually, okay. that seemed to be our highest score was when we yeah each we had went a joystick. to level twenty nine. I know on easy. Pretty much easy. Pretty much easy. Uh, I find I get killed quicker when I focus on the humans. Yeah, it it's is hard. Tough. You you have to really. I think my strategy is the same as yours. Pick a path to clear as quickly as possible and make make it to the edge, and then start. Because when you're up against the move. edge, yeah, you don't get to attack from behind. You only have to concentrate on, especially in the corner. But you don't want to be in a corner because then you get Yeah. Uh, remove the zero page homebrew specific graphics and text. So you're back to the generic dad's mom's blonde hair and Mikey's now. I may add this back in as an Easter egg. Um, <laughs> that'd be so cool. Yeah. Uh, you optimize the electrode collision detection, including a level 10 where the electrodes are double width, but the collision detection was only doing single width. So you're getting off, off easy on level 10. Uh, improve the electrode disbursement at the beginning of the level so an equal amount are added to each quadrant. Okay. So they're not so clumped in. So yeah, you can see they're all over the place, the electrodes. Fixed a bug where the advanced level was not adding all the enemies, as it was taking a quarter of them off. So expect advanced level to be harder than before. So this is only on this version, not the demo version yet. As John said, those, right those red circles are... They, you gotta kill them and they're, they're fast. They're fast and they're also, like, harder to see somehow. Oh, oh there's a zombie. Killed by a zombie. Zombie Tanya. <laughs> uh, not not Tanya anymore. anymore. Not anymore. Zombie bomb. Um, uh, hopefully fixed a bug where the level wouldn't end after killing, even after killing all the enemies. I saw this happen on Wednesday, Wednesday's Twitch stream. I couldn't reproduce it, but I did some changes that may have been causing the problem. So there we go. So that bug should be fixed. So let's go to Robotron 2084 How to Play. This had a lot of hits. How to work with them. So Lord Howard Hurt says, uh, Wave 5 Mikey Trick. We will find out what that is. Um, so the player. You control the player. Your only weapon is the anti-robot laser gun. Used effectively, it will give you the power to destroy all robot species except the Hulk. The control on the left of the panel will give you maneuverability in all eight directions. To evade, to attack, to rescue. The right controller will empower you to fire your laser gun in eight directions. Each robot attack wave will end when you disintegrate all the robots in the wave, except, of course, the indestructible hull. At the start of the attack, you'll have three chances to wipe out the enemy. Every 25,000 points. Oh, you've got extra men. Nine, nine almost eight. three. Almost got an extra one. Yeah. I will grant you another chance to complete your mission. Now, later on, we're going to try the Stella version with two joysticks and do actual two joysticks um, because I've got two USB uh, arcade joysticks. With the Stella version? Why can't... 
because we don't have two of those. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So, one of those. Yeah. One of them's broken. It broke just the other day. Get this work. Oh, I don't think so. Well, we can try that. See a broken one? Yeah. Yeah, unbroken itself. We haven't gotten to that level of detail yet. Oh. I saw Wave 5 at a field full of moms. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned it last time. In the arcade version, Wave 5 is all moms in one Mikey. As long as the Mikey is left alive, the monsters will aggro on him. So you can grab all the moms. Oh, interesting. So they'll, they'll go after the kid? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and Nathan said we haven't gotten to that level of detail. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's listed in the Robotron 24 guidebook.com. It was humming too after you plugged it in. Uh, don't plug in joysticks while it's on. Not a good idea, I guess. I've always wondered that. But this is a little bit different of a joystick because it actually requires power. Like it draws power. Oh, does it really? Because does it cause problem. problems with the Atari then? Or? Uh, if it did, just then. Normally it doesn't. Do that. But uh, because it has a little lights for the buttons and turbo, turbo fire, so it, so it actually uses, uses power. Um, so let's get to some. Maybe not the walkthrough. Let's see. Normal waves, brain waves, tank waves, hulk waves, front waves, beyond. Yeah. Get really cocky, you try your luck at a difficulty level 9. The tanks are unbelievably fast, even on wave 7. On a normal setting, once you can handle each of the different waves, after wave 28, you're ready to play indefinitely. You're wow. a true Robotron hero if you can survive all 255 waves. About 7 million points. Wave 256 is wave 1 again, so it's like starting over with every lives you've built up. They're saying sound is slightly too loud, so... Oh. Okay, thank yeah. you. It's somebody in the YouTube comments saying the volume's too low. <laughs> that was on a specific day with a specific game. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna. So this was it on advanced, this last level. Oh, was it? Yeah. Wow. No standard. It says right there. I th I thought I switched to advanced. Oh well. Okay. Hold Maybe down the button. I have to oh, restart okay. for some reason to get both joysticks working. No, apparently not. <laughs> Switch back. Ooh, look at that. That's great. Why is it orange? That's it's funny. Not like this joystick. Oh. Okay. We won't use that joystick. Are you sure? Try it again. Try try rebooting it again. Just replug it that's, in. That's what happened when I plugged it in. Yeah. Hold it. Yep. I think that joystick's really busted. It might be. Yep. Yeah. That is not All a right. good sign. So that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, hold it. This one should be better. Now, okay. Last time you were firing and I was moving. Was that the one where we did well? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, should we do standard? Probably. Yeah, it's, or we can even do one in novice first if you want. Oops. That's fine. It's standard. This is standard? Yeah. Okay. It, it, it auto starts. Why is that? What's going on? Who's, who's controlling what? I'm moving. I'm not doing anything, apparently. What's 
going on? No. Wait, are you? Who's? Nothing. Okay. No, but it was working before. For a second. No. It's it's a setting, isn't it? Good. It might be a setting. Yeah. Good. There, there we, we go. go. So yeah, you have to do the setting. That's why it wasn't working the last time. <clears throat> Check the difficulty switches. Thank you. Yeah. We got to get that red. Get that red there. Oh my god, I want to write more. <laughs> <laughs> you have to recognize what your humans look like. Okay. Get that one. Yes. That's me. That guy. <clears throat> so much easier with two people. So much easier. Oh! I would rather you kill everything than, uh, then, yeah. than possibly die. Yeah, for high scores, we're going for longevity. <laughs> going for longevity. Oh, my fault. <laughs> it takes, it takes, I find, even though we played it, like, two days ago. Well, Shoot to the right, to the right, to the right! <laughs> Watch uh, for um, those robots and for those circles. I know, but you still have to hit everything else, too. <laughs> Like, I don't know which direction you're going to walk in, so... I know. That's part of the, the challenge with two people, but it definitely, definitely works better. Definitely works better with two people down the line. How color? Could be. Should be able to support it. No, the sparks are what oh, they shoot. so many different enemies in this game. Can't keep them all straight. The hulks are really uh, easy. Tanks, brains, easy to understand. But then there's like sparks and there's balls and... I'm still amazed at this Yeah, game. it's beautiful. It plays beautifully. Oh. You, the, the, when you first spawn, there's so much around you. Yeah. That's the challenge is figuring out right. which, which direction you're going in. Yeah. 92,000. Eighth wave. Yeah, we can do better. Than we'll that. do better, yeah. yeah. I died quite a bit in the beginning. Yeah. Don't care about the names. Don't think it saves right now. Yeah. You don't have an Atari box in there? I don't have an Atari box plugged in right now. So it doesn't matter. This is still standard, right? Yeah, I'm fine with standard right now. Yeah. It's not too hard that you're dying immediately, but it's hard enough to give a bit of a challenge. Yeah. The one thing I noticed too, they killed every little, um, everything on the screen, including the, the things that are in, what are they, electrodes or what do they call them? Yep. Um, so even those, Count towards get, you must get level. points, you must get points for them. So in the people who had high scores, they destroyed absolutely everything. Absolutely everything on the screen. Yeah, um, and they were trying to not finish the level until they until they got everything, and they got every person, and um, they kept they would keep one robotic whatever. Oh, no. oh. I'm trying, but you keep <laughs> moving. <laughs> uh, you, oh yes, that's true. We couldn't have a safe key plugged in with two joysticks. Not until the quad card. Oh, not with the two joysticks, then. No, with the two joysticks. Yeah. Um, oh, John, does this have Quadtari support right now as it stands, or is that still to be added in? So obviously it doesn't need it yet, because it's just an early demo. But um, I don't think we discussed that last show. I can't really pause in this game. No, and if we're I mean, both, if there is a pause, if we're both but... playing, it's hard for either of us to read. Yeah. There is no pause. Yeah, like... There, I think there is. No, yeah, no, but I don't... mean, there's no pause no between pausing. levels. Yeah. yeah. It just keeps going, so... Very arcade-like in that sense. Oh, my God. 
Shoot it. And you don't get points for those, um, static little things whose name I forgot. Like a the static ones? Yeah, the ones that don't move. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Cornering yourself. <laughs> I have to keep moving. Sorry, they're forcing me in the corners. No quadrotary support No yet. points for electrodes. Uh, does That's it normally have? No. Do they normally? Oh, because no. I noticed that the people They're getting the high scores were destroying everything, including the electrodes on the screen. It's probably to get them out of the way. I guess so. Because they're annoying. They can kill them. Yeah. But it doesn't uh, clear. A lot of hulks. In this level, yes. A lot of hulks. So he says quadrotary support is good. Right for me. Uh, no. They bounce from corner to corner. That was a worse game. Eighth way. We'll do better. You don't mind playing the shooting? No, I like the shooting. Okay, good. Yeah. That works out well. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Were you holding down the nope. direction? No, I was not okay. touching anything. <laughs> then I was. Uh, nope! And now the rage resetting starts. <laughs> <laughs> Peoples. Don't shoot everything yet, then. This is, this is easy. This and now if fun. you wait long enough, um, it gets faster. I don't know if he's added that in yet, huh? or if you just sit there and wait and wait and wait, the, game, the, the enemies will speed up and come and kill you. Like, you won't be able to outrun them. Shoot that. Shoot those robots. Rescue. Yes, the grunts will eventually become faster than you in this version. Yeah. Okay, so that's already it. That's fine. Uh, oh, you gotta get out of the middle. I Because those I things know. bounce from corner to corner. Get it, it's in the corner. It's coming down to the corner. Yeah. Still waiting for a, a rage reset shirt. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably um, ask ask you guys what kind of t-shirts you'd oh. like to get. Yeah, big reset button. And rage reset. I don't There's... think I've ever seen a rage reset shirt. I'll have to look and see if anybody's made one before. <laughs> I don't want to duplicate efforts of, of somebody. Trying to. <laughs> Great idea, Nathan Strong. Yeah. I like that one. Rage reset because I was trying to think of good shirts that would be funny or oh zombies or appropriate for the show because you wanted something related to the show like not just something. either representing the show or something that happens in the show or the people in the show. Bad brain level. Those things, those uh, electrodes are just like lining the screen. Mm, oh, you're doing nowhere. pretty well. Mm, yeah. Uh, I try to shoot a path for you so you can get to one edge. <laughs> that helped. That's helpful. Is that circle? Oh, there's the circle. Got it. There we go. Oh my goodness, so many. Oh. Oh, at least we've got an extra person. Oh, he went down, of course. <laughs> he's evading us. I know, he's doing a good shall job. So read. No, you can't. You don't have time. Shoot it! Ah, oh, shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot them all! And then you're running into them, too! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's play easy. Easy? Let's see how high Novice? we can get. I don't, I don't necessarily, like, score-wise. In terms I of level? Know. I don't know if it, it matters too much. I, I would say let's do advanced. Okay. Death for us. <laughs> did you put advanced on? Yep, just did. You get more score. Go get the people. There we go. It's, like, very hard after the first level. Oh, 
Wave 1 seems pretty easy. Yeah, Wave 1 is easy. In the arcade, it is easy, too. It lures you into a false sense of, that game's no problem. Then it's like, oh, okay. Just puts a lot of guys on the screen. The, the circle guys, they just keep spawning more and more enemies. They, they eventually... Well, I don't know if they eventually disappear. I wonder if that's a tactic. Like, for the high score people, it's like, just leave the circle. Keep it spawning more things I can shoot. I suppose. It, oh, it's no, because easier. it gets faster and faster. And then oh. Two of them, from two angles. Yeah. Oh, this is... Yeah, someone's I, asking, oh. what is the ma maximum number of enemies? Uh, I think... John Champo said 140 he's able to put on the screen wow. at a higher level. Fourth wave! Made fourth place. That's okay. Tried I'm also again. trying to read. 104 on wave 40. 104. Okay. Sorry. You restarted before I was Sorry. even paying attention. So. Okay, let's read. Uh, you can also need a shirt with some of Erlen's philosophical musings. <laughs> Pull into text. But did you just finish a level yeah. without me moving? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is fun. Circle! My fault. Ran right into him. I want to see how far I can get with just staying in the center of the screen. Unfortunately, the uh, hulks will get you in the end. Uh, they kind of randomly. Yeah, but they will get you in the end yeah. because you can't, you can't hold them. Oh my god, oh my god. No path. No path. <laughs> And then it kind of disperses out. You're going the opposite to the path I was trying to. Like this Sorry. is the thing with two people. It's like There's a I'm trying to shoot a path, but then then if you go in the opposite direction, then I, I have to change the. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, I don't know how we made it to wave 29. We did really, really well. Well, that was on. Easy. Was it? Yeah. Even so. Oh, oh, oh. And up and down, eat any direction. Ah! <laughs> but then the, the grunts are going after you, too. Okay, we're doing easy now. <laughs> or 80 if you count the player two. What is it? 30 Number of, of them sprites. are human. 30 of them are human. Sorry. So now we're on easy mode. <laughs> and you get a lot of lives. Well, the, it's just the. The number of things on the screen. So I don't think the enemies are easier. There's no. less of them. There's just less of them. I think there's oh, I think they are slower moving, you said. Sprites at once. Yes. Crazy. Wow. Like actual, actual sprites. Wow, that is a lot. I wonder if there's um, some other games that you could apply the, the playfield trick that you've used in this um, in this game to help make possible. Another uh, arcade port. Is this... Of course, it would be a, have to be a game like this where there's just tons of things on the screen. But it would also have to work really well with like, like four pixel movements and low resolution um, graphics. Four, four pixel graphics. Four pixel wide graphics. Height is not a problem. You can layer them. <coughs> Um, I don't know if you ever saw that, um... You're running around so <laughs> erratically, I, I, I can't <laughs> even... I can't even... Uh, like, I get it, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to avoid things. <laughs> In some ways, when there's more on the screen, it's easier to shoot. Because there's just a lot more there. There was a graphic going around many years ago. Um, it was simplistic 
representations of cartoon characters. And they were, rep were represented by stacks of banded colors. Very, very much like the uh, playfield enemies in this game. And you can recognize every single one of them just by the colors and the way they were grouped. Like they did um, The Simpsons, and they did South Park, and just by the heights and the colors, they were like, yep, that's Marge, because he has blue hair, and, you know, all the different variations. And so, it's not too much of a stretch to know why it works in this game so well, just using the um, playfield stacks. I think we have a lot of lives in this version of the game. This variation. How is the flicker? It's awesome. There's no flicker. Really, really good. I haven't noticed any flicker whatsoever in this game. Most, well, there is. Like, you can see it. But it's so seldom and there's just so much going on that you don't really care about it. It's so minor. I'm so glad there is a this variation. Because it allows you to have fun with the game and play it on you know a level that you can actually survive more than five minutes. Allows to you to have uh, to the right, to the right. Thank slight, you. Slightly easier. Uh... Jimmy, there. Oh, there we go. I hate those circles. There. Circles are bad. All sprites. Oh, they are displayed at 30 hertz. So, do you keep them uh, separated then? Like artificially separated? They don't cross boundaries. They're always displayed at 30 hertz. Like they keep their own quadrants. Uh, enemies are in a shot. Got to get out of the center play field as I know. soon as you can. Just I can't. pick a path, and I can. Like that corner was empty. So. Right. You can't stay in the center because those red things get you. And you can't stay in the same area either because things will just start grouping. Yeah, but stay out of the center oh, is the key. Yeah. Like, you'll run back in the center, but if, as much as... And sometimes you have no choice. Yeah. But stay out of the center. Go around the perimeter if you can, if you can find a path to the perimeter. Mm-hmm. Left. Uh, because things gather in the corners. Like, the circles gather in the corners. The circles gather in the corners, and obviously... They will lay the robots. To the right, to the right, to the right. I can't shoot... Missiles, though, they don't necessarily disappear when I shoot them. Yeah, oh. so you gotta get out of there as soon as possible. Ah. I hate those circle things, though. Way more erratic. They're the worst. There you go. Collision detecting takes a lot of time. Yeah, that's... Uh. So many things on the screen, like 104. Did check 104 things at once. Look at them all. They're all but they, 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 they will cluster, yep. which definitely helps the gameplay. Like, and I was playing this on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was playing this on Stella, and I had a bit of fun with it. And I got all the um, names of those guys, the, the, the playfield guys. And there was about you know 20 of them. And I led them all, so they eventually all converged on top of each other, and it worked. That was a good run. Look at her score. Two forty-seven, four twenty-five. I think yeah. that's 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 a good run. probably better than when we played last time. We, well, we only got we to just got to two hundred. Oh, that's true. So let's let's Wave stay 20. on um, novice. No, that's too long. No, go to standard. Go to advanced. Yeah. Yeah, give it a try. It's hard, but I mean. It, 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 it shows it shows the difficulty really. Anyway, um, so I so I played um, I was playing on Stella, and I 
gathered all the guys, and I led them around the screen, so eventually they all merged on top of each other. So it looked like one guy. So it looked like one guy, but you had to shoot it 20 times to completely get rid of it. So it, it does keep track of things, and it keeps track of them on top of each other, too, which is incredible. Detection's taking most of the overs. Uh, the right, to the right. I was, but. Can you not shoot though? You can shoot those. Yeah, we're shooting to the right. Okay. Left, right. That was just. That uh, was just. Just. <laughs> You're so fast. Zombies. To the right, to the right. Oh. To the right, to the right. Sometimes I feel like I'm just, sh it's like shooting. There's a lot of people left over there. There are. Don't shoot that brain yet. There we go. Sweet. I don't know. I, there's not, you can't, you can't read and. No, I can't. I'll catch up at, after oh. this game. Oh. oh, so many. We're actually doing really well. Oh, so many. Oh, 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 this level, man. Oh. oh, it's too many. Got to get out of here. Ah, 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 ah. Down, down, down. Balls everywhere! Oh. oh! Those are hard so to get. So friggin' many. It's like trying to get the... Yay. Oh, is that what that noise was? Yep. I like those. There's so many hulks! Uh, They're like... Converging. I know, and you can't kill them. Just go. There we go. One more. One more. As long as he doesn't shoot out. There, there we, we go. go. Wow. Advanced is actually playable now. Kind oh, of. Now this is, this is insane. Somewhere. Where where are you no, going? No, no. You tell me where you're going. Just clear path in one direction. Well, you keep moving directions, so... Yeah. You tell me where you're going. It's hard. It's so hard when there's so much on the that screen. That was a good run at advanced. That was a good run. 112. Uh... Yeah. Ooh, why can't you select low video qualities anymore? Um, you're never supposed to be able to mm. um, on Twitch. It allows if you're really... lower quality videos if there is room for it. Because I'm not a higher level member. And I can't be one. You can't even pay for being one. Um, you have to, to get to the next level of Twitch, oh, yeah. this is we have to have 75 people watching at a time. On average. On average, throughout a month. Yeah. Nowhere near that, because we're not playing the latest PS4 or PC game. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Um, so they allow lower quality at certain times. And I know the broadcast at 60 frames a second is very taxing on a lot of people's CPU, because it's it's a lot at once to display. Yeah. So it's, it's difficult to, uh, for people to see that um, sometimes. YouTube is a bit better at compressing, but probably because it's not, it's not live anymore. Yeah. They have a bit of more time to process it. So that is the reason for not being able to see 30. Even if you watch 30, it drops every second frame. It does not do frame blending. There's a whole thing about it. Anyway. Yeah, if you can get 75 people watching at once, then we'll get those options. <laughs> Great, but that has to be every single stream. Right? Every single stream for yeah. a month, and then not go below that. Uh, just wanted to check out the stream and look at 30 frames a second. Most would drop every second frame, so you would like not be able to see your own character most of the time. Yeah, because of that. And you wouldn't be able to see half of the characters, because the Atari broadcasts 
at 60. And the way this game and a lot of advanced games time slice half the, half the characters you see half the time, other half the time you see other half the characters. Mm -hmm. So if it's dropping every second frame, you're literally seeing, that's why I say at the top of the show, you're literally missing half the show if you're watching at 30. So you have to set it to 60. We are a niche community. Not even a niche, a niche of a niche. <laughs> First of all, it's a 2600. And then it's homebrew on 2600. Yeah. Because like on, on like the 2600 Facebook group, like the mm. pure 2600, no homebrew, mm. they mostly just talk about old games from the yeah, 80s and 70s. They don't yeah. talk about homebrew very much. Not, not too much. So it's a niche of a niche. And then Twitch broadcasting about homebrew is a niche. So it's like... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. But, you know, we get more and more people watching all the time. So yeah. uh, I think projections, maybe four years, we'll get 75 people all at once. <laughs> we get about 20 or 30 average now. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Makes us elite. Yes. Shh. Don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> don't, po don't talk about Homebrew Club. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, if there's any... I mean, you guys can play this game. We don't have to try anything else out. We'll play one more game. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you want to do it on? Do you want to do it in advanced again? Yeah, See if we, we get did, a little further. We did pretty 112? good. 112? 112 is pretty good. That is really good yeah, on advanced. Like yeah. So I'm... That Nathan Strom wife, I can't handle Twitch anymore for some reason. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Advanced. Because now I think we can actually play an advanced game. Do fairly well. Got over 100. Still, we got four still, extra uh, lives. That was good. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it should be. It should be high action. might help if I say what direction. Well, left, a little left, bit. Left, a left, little left, bit. Left, I'm left. trying to go left. It's funny because <laughs> there's almost... Shoot up, up, up. I left, am shooting left, up. Left, left, but left, you're moving, left, so left. he's moving. <laughs> you don't, I don't need you to yell at me what direction to... to, to... <laughs> you weren't shooting left. You're shooting left I was. Up. No, I was shooting left. You were moving, so the, the guy was dodging. Down. Lies. That's true. <laughs> There's also a delay between me changing direction and it actually shooting that way. Brain lag time. No. No. Brain lag time. no. <laughs> actually, sometimes I think I'm shooting and I'm actually hitting the diagonal. Down, down, down. It's always trying to aim for down if possible to. If you out. want to do that. Yeah. yeah. I was doing left all the time last time and. Oh. And ah, zombie. But it kind of depends. Like I suppose that's that's the downside with it is you may there may actually be a clear path other than down. There could be, but in these higher levels, it's just you're surrounded, so it almost doesn't. Okay, extra person. Oh, they were everywhere. Everywhere. That's helpful. I find whatever, you, you always have to keep an eye on the corners because everything does attack you from the sides, but those red... They go to the corners. What is amazing about they those, those red enemies is they're brilliant because you get you get to the edges and they're the ones that make the edges um, dangerous for you. This is a crazy level because of all the hulks. It's like... Oh! oh. <laughs> it, it's a crazy level because of all the hulks. Like, you can't get rid of them, so they really box you in sometimes. Oh, Goodness. Shoot them. <laughs> bouncing balls. You don't need to get the bouncing balls. You need no, to you can't the hit them. Guy. I don't think you can hit them. There's one more guy but they eventually disappear. Can't? I don't think so. I was shooting I one so and either. it didn't do look like. Do they disappear eventually? It, like yeah, they down, do. Down, 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 down. Oh, there's no, no way I can get all of them. Mm. Down, down, down. Oh, he left behind a robot. A robot. Circle. There we go. There. 
Uh, almost an extra guy. Uh, that was almost. Almost Play her last more. score. Yeah, do one more. Actually, I'm just going to read some stuff out first. Um, well, you started the game, so. We'll reset. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have the same problem. Oh, they're talking about Wi-Fi. Let's just die. Yeah. Which is a very easy thing to accomplish in this game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's some great apps to analyze how much, which Wi-Fi frequencies other your neighbors are using. Oh. And that can, and they can recommend which one to switch to. Um, I use that all the time when I'm every once in a while when I survey what's going on in the area because people get new Wi-Fi and they leave it on standard or whatever, yeah. auto switching. And then I go, oh, this this band has more uh, more room now for this one, or I leave it on auto too. Switch on that. Clear down, down. I can't clear down unless you're immediately above it. Though. I know. And I'll try like, to be. Like that's the thing. It's like uh, I can shoot downwards, but if you're not directly in line, it won't shoot. G helps. Well, it's which it, it helps if your neighborhood doesn't have a lot of 5G. But if it has a lot of 5G, well, uh, oh. no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very, very full game. It is more full than any other game ever. <laughs> like, like for sure. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. 2600 game has had this many enemies on the screen at the same time. I can't think of one. If, if anybody else out there can think of one. That'd be amazing. I don't think so. Like movable objects that can go. Left, right. Pull those out. I can't go beneath them. There you go. These are coming. Montanias. Montanias. <laughs> The moms. The moms. That was quick. Uh, that you did yourself. I did. I went <laughs> right into it. There we go. There's a path. Yeah. Because why not get used to an area and pick a direction? Because they're all just as deadly. It's a square. Oh. It's randomized. Um, so if you're going to do... A direction. Left, left. Thank you. <laughs> guy chasing after me. Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness, this is insanity. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, right, 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 right. Ah. <laughs> this is insane. Ah, ah. There's so many hulks. That's the that's down. that's the deadliest part of this game is of like this at this level is like there are so many hulks. There we go. Get off that level. Oh, wow. Well, all the levels are insane. Yeah, in their own way. I can't hit everything all at the same time. 91. I think that one, that, that other one was really thousand. good. Woo! Woo! <clears throat> oh, yeah. We want to do one more experiment. Okay. Um, That's with the two joysticks. Oh, yes. In Stella? Yeah. Here, please. Oh, big one. <clears throat> So we've got two big, big joysticks here. And ginormous. Ginormous. The but they ones. both have a arcade controls on yeah. them. I don't have a twin stick from Ed Ladin. No. That's pretty much the only thing that is specifically made for the 2600. Gotcha. So unless you have that, you have no twin sticks to use on your... USB ports. I have so many devices going. Hopefully this doesn't destroy anything. Doesn't kill any of the video signals. 
So is this possible to? I, I'm sure it is. Two? Oh yeah. I think so. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's give it a try. So now we load up. Stella. Getting fancy here. Getting fancy. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll get rid of that video. Minimize the chat. Bring over Stella. Go to Robotron. So in Canada, yeah. this is a long weekend. I guess the equivalent. The US, I think, no, they have a Memorial Day. Memorial Day weekend? And punk festival that we went to when we were there. Oh, okay. And uh, that was Memorial Day weekend. It's not the same, but um, so we technically have a I long weekend. The bottom and top of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what I was going to say is not that it matters too much with everything being kind of weird as far as. Uh... Oh, they're both controlling. Okay, I have to switch one of them. Uh, it's going to be this one. Continue. Uh, no, I was just I was just uh, wishing all the Canadian fans. And I don't think they're a huge number, but uh, a happy uh, long weekend, if it applies to them. A lot of people are home anyway, but it feels like uh, oh, yeah. it's hard to tell what's a Saturday and a Sunday for some people anymore. But uh, yeah, I hope I hope if you do have the day off that you're enjoying yourself. This long weekend. Okay, place joystick. Okay, I'm gonna get you to do this. On the joystick. What am I doing? Press up. You have to be very precise. No, don't don't press anything when I don't tell you to. Well, I didn't know. Down. That. Oh, it goes white. Don't press anything till I tell you to. Okay. Left. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. First button. Which one, A? Yeah, uh, the R. Yeah, that's it. That is. Looks like an A, but it's an R. Really? Where's an A? It's an oh, A. Oh, it is an A. Don't tell me it's an <laughs> Okay, so this should... There we go. Okay, so we've got moving and shooting and no volume here. There we go. You guys should be hearing the volume, but it's not loud enough. Okay, so this... Now it's not working. Did you... Oh, no, I'm not you focused on it. There you so go. This yeah, it is working. It this is should working. be moving, and that should be firing. Excellent. Okay, now we can reset. Okay, so now I have to switch it over. You want to shoot? And is that doable? Kind of. Do you want me to put something underneath? Um, that don't yeah, have there's to. Yeah, there's a box there. Hold on, I'm calling. I don't know what the fuck's in the box, but... It's a Commodore 64 power supply. Oh, is it? <laughs> Here. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Much better. Excellent. Okay, we've got two uh, joysticks now. That should give a proper experience. I'm going to just start. I'll do standard. Yeah. Oh, this, is weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. Your brain has to reset. It does. It has to map the new things yeah. that you're doing. Should run a GoFundMe to get it Ed Ladin controller. That yeah, would, <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> I, just, I want I this Atari like... video uh, music don't... visualizations. That's that's got me excited. <laughs> You'd rather have that. <laughs> that doesn't no, benefit the crowd. It doesn't benefit the crowd. It benefits me. Look at he bounced into me. Did you see that? Oh, I was firing at him. Yeah. I was like, he bounced into me. I I I yeah. Anyway. Um, I don't like asking. No, no, no. I only do the, 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 the other thing because it doesn't cost people money if they don't want to donate money. Like, the it's... it's Sorry. With the Twitch. The Twitch, um... Oh, yeah. Because if they... With the Prime, with yeah. With the Prime, because it's free for them. Yeah. They just donate it to a Well, no, I channel. mean, it's, it's... And it's very nice if people want to donate money, but I, I, I agree we're, uh... This isn't, this isn't not, our... Not for making money. Yeah, exactly. It's not It's not our main income stream, <laughs> no. as it is for some people out in it the is. Twitch world. So yeah, that's all they do. Yeah. I mean, if it was my main income, I'd, I'd be playing all day, every day. Yeah. Every, I'd be trying to get high scores yeah. for 12 hours a day and yeah. doing speed runs and yeah. 
crazy things like that. Yep. But if you want to buy merch and things like that, you know. There you go. Yeah. Buy, buy merch. Buy merch. <laughs> Would that even pay for it? No. What? It depends on the t-shirt and if it's on sale or not. I think I get like two dollars on sale four dollars on not yeah. so you have to buy a hundred not on sale t-shirts <laughs> yeah it go. could happen it There's could happen goal. we'll put we'll, we'll take the merch money and we'll put it towards a controller how about that yeah because people seem to be quite happy with the shirts and uh that's not a bad way to do it actually. yeah and there's been some people buying the shirts. I always like doing that if you're going to have an income stream, just to say, okay, we're putting this towards that. And, and yeah. people can use that as, a, as an incentive to buy merchandise. I am not sure about this. No? <laughs> They're really far apart, too. Yeah, it's because you've got this big... If you could stack them, you need someone to create like a little a little shelf, so you could... You could I don't know. I'm not used to it. Yeah, I've sure. never played yeah. a game with two joysticks. Oh, pack rat, gonna go out and see how my yard is flooding? I don't oh, think God. that's good. That, that doesn't sounds... sound like a good situation unless you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> um, How's my yard flooding? Uh, yeah. Is it filled up with All water right. yet? Catch y'all on Wednesday. We'll see you, pack rat. Bye, pack rat. Uh, see you on Wednesday. Today, auto selection of most routers only use these channels, but some people think they are smart by and select something in between, and then they interfere at two channels. Yeah, yes. talk about Wi Fi. Yeah, it makes yeah. it worse. Yeah. It disrupts two people's uh, Wi Fi. So and he says, like, actually, there is less interference if two people use the very same channel than if one uses an overlapping one. Oh. Good to know. That's interesting. I think, I think if you know you're having trouble, it's a good place to look to see if you can switch channels and, and find a better channel. But yeah. at the end of the day, if you're not having trouble, then if they broke, don't fix it. Then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't start this. Don't mess it's around. Working. Um... This is not easy for me. This is not easy. I, I I think you're way more successful when it's two people playing, to be honest. Oh yeah. <laughs> way more successful. Well, you've got Actually two brains working on um, it. Um uh yeah, if if uh what what's it yeah. it is fun, but also can cause a little bit of tension too. Shoot uh, left, shoot, shoot left, left, shoot it. F you I am shooting left, you're moving. <laughs> Shoot, please. Shoot, please. <laughs> oh, so, no. Actually, let's let's do the thing. I want to show something. Um, don't shoot anything. I'm going to get these guys. I'm going to not die. I'm going to corral all these guys. So I have to get out of the way. You have to find somewhere to corral to. Oh, oh they get they start killing themselves. Do they? Well, no, they die, I think, if they hit the... Um, those those squares. So you start. Yeah, they die on the squares. Yeah, only two more will die. So watch, watch all this. So they do group. Do you want me to shoot them? Then? No, don't shoot them. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're just trying to group them. Oh, they get fast. <gasps> they also get together. Wow. Can I shoot them now? No, not yet. I want to shoot them. Until they're one big. Well, they are okay. one big. Now shoot them. This is where it gets weird. You're uh, not shooting straight. No, I'm. I, no, but w didn't we have this problem before? With it not being perfectly calibrated? No. Was it this one or was it's the other one? It's just very sensitive. It is very sensitive. So I think I'm shooting left and I'm actually. I want to show that again. Going on a diagonal. Yeah, so now you can kind of wait there. Some of them will die. Let me try and stay in the center so they all converge to the center. Then you get in between, you should get them all to the center again. But they will Don't get faster shoot them and faster. Yet. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> they will get faster. But look, at, it looks like look there's at that. three Can of them. Look at that. Can I shoot them now? Yeah. Very cool, because it keeps track of them. Yeah. And it clumps them as. Now you can type up. <laughs> so I thought that was just really, really incredible programming by John that he took that into account. That there are layered enemies on top of each other, and they're actually there. And I don't think it, many people will notice that in the game because you just don't do that. It's a very weird behavior to do, is to let them all follow you for a while. Oh, oh Nathan Strem's taken off. Thank you for hanging out, Nathan. We're almost done with showing it. This, this is just like playing around. We're not actually playing. Um, anyway, yeah, we're done. Um, 
thank God you're enjoying the game. Got to take off. See you next time. Uh, I PM'd you about your console repair. Thank you so much, Nathan. Um, I'll check out your uh, message and we'll get that hooked up and uh, make sure that we get an uh, RGB going again because that's the benefit. That would be beneficial for it. So that is lots of fun. Oh yeah. my god. If you haven't downloaded the demo of that yet, it's a good game. <laughs> you need to download the it's demo. A lot of fun. Immediately. It is so good and it scales really well to beginner. So yeah. that even if you're you're not good at it or you don't know how to play that game, the beginners will be just fine for you. And you won't have any won't have any issues playing that. But it also scales up to expert, where it's really hard. And you can play two people at the same time. Not really, but you can have one person moving, one person shooting, and that's tons of fun. Creates lots of arguments, so mm -hmm. that's awesome. <laughs> uh, maybe have, your, have, have your marriage counselor on speed dial. That's right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. Um, maybe he'll add in an alternating second player. I don't know if that's in the arcade, where you have two players going back and forth. Yeah. Or maybe you can add that in, but he said he wasn't really too interested in having two simultaneous players. But you never know. He yeah. he does crazy things like that um, in the last minute, just like he did with Galaga, and that was really cool two player. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe reduced to three then. Three. I don't know three. what that's in reference to. Shots that costly for CPU time. Mm. Oh, okay. He's talking about programming stuff. Yep. Oh, two shots to player for. Oh, they are talking about two players. Yeah. Oh, so you can limit the sh if you limit the shots, that actually balances out the gameplay too. Yeah. So because you have two so players. So you're not shooting as much. Yeah. Because if you have two that players, would... it would be easier to kill everyone. Yeah. Oh, there we go. They are considering an alternating and reconsidering a two-player two co-op. Nice. You heard it here first. <laughs> Breaking news. Excellent. Um, because, yeah, limiting the shots would even out the game. A little bit. Yeah. 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 It is pretty fast shots anyway. Yeah. Right? So that would help. That would be very fun. And that would be literally, fun. literally, you're just adding in one extra person but he says he's flickering at 30 hertz all the time mm -hmm. so he'd have to recalibrate that part of it mm -hmm. um my wife would love that option yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that'd yeah. be super super fun yeah it's better than one person shooting and the other walking around and every each blaming the other well if you go in the right direction well if you just tell me where you're if going you shot left <laughs> we'd still be alive <laughs> um uh, <laughs> drag my partner along yeah <laughs> to play with could me be ever Everybody going for their own points. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would my kids. That's fun yeah, too, yeah, at yeah. least for the audience. <laughs> it is. Um, it is. No, fun. It, it is actually fun. It's but really it, fun. Um, Co-op two people. But you really you fun. get a much better score, so it's kind of like okay, well we can make this work, right? We're, gonna, we're getting a better score overall. <laughs> yeah, and you but get some strategy happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah co-op would be fun. Um, so the next episode, no need for it. <laughs> Next episode's on Wednesday. I don't have anything queued up, but there are a lot of things in the works. Some uh, games that are being worked on that yeah. might be coming up. Don't know just yet. Yeah. Uh, thanks, John. Hi, John. Thanks have so a good much weekend. for making this game and, and hanging out again. Yeah. Have a have a good weekend. Not long weekend there. Did no, 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 no. It's, it's not. not. It's okay. I think it's just in Canada. But you have long weekends. We don't. So yeah. it evens out in the end. Yeah. Later in the month, I think. Yep. Yep. Um, yes, it is a great game. Excellent. It's an incredible yeah. game. Yeah. And and where it's at already, people can enjoy it till 2021 when it's scheduled to be released. Mm -hmm. and, and it's totally playable right now. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Uh, Thrust26, John EWC23, John Champo. Uh, Kev Kelly, thank you so much for uh, sending over your game as mm -hmm. well for playing. That was an incredible, fun game. I mm -hmm. uh, can't wait for it to be updated with all the fixes and, and even more stuff in it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I totally forgot about um, talking about a game that I'm making. I oh, were you going to talk now. about it? A little bit. You talk a lot. you got to get started on it. <laughs> but I've, I've settled on which game I'm going to be making. Yeah. Um, I don't want to announce it yet, which one it is. Um, because if you announce it and you don't do it, people are very upset and disappointed. <laughs> Um, but it's a game that is playable at every stage that I'm able to make it. Okay. And I think that will be good. Like the first, like I could get it playable in probably two days. Good. Um, <laughs> to a point where. Yeah, we would I only am. nag you. Exactly. Exactly. 
And I don't want to say what it is because then you can nag me specifically about yeah. it or do my work for me, which I don't want anybody to do. You want to do it. Because yeah. if I say That's the game, fair. they'll be like, oh, I helped you. Here's the thing. Yeah. I made it. For, it's like I mm-hmm. want to learn it on my own. Yeah. I do need help and then and I will ask for help. Yeah. It's like I don't know how to get to the next stage. Yeah. But the first step is making a vertically scrolling play field. Yeah. That's the first thing that I, I need to make. Yeah. And then a player character that exists within this play field. Hmm. That's the second stage that I'll go to. Hmm. So a, a scrolling play field at a variable speed is a uh, vertically scrolling play field is what I need to get done first. And I think I could probably get that done in a day using help from the forums and just knowledge. Oh, I'll be doing assembly. I'm not going to be doing Atari basic because I want to progress to a point where I can do really, really good games. Hmm. Uh, Zevia style. Um, yeah. Cause that's a vertically scrolling. It's not Zevia's. Mm-hmm. It's not even a shooter, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a vertically scrolling, um, pixel by pixel play field yeah. moving along um, from top to bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at a fairly slow rate, but you can vary that that speed, mm-hmm. right? Um, so very very simple basics, but it gets more and more complex as I add things in. It's very doable in the twenty six hundred. I've never seen a game like it, like it made for the twenty six hundred in the style it's been made. For um it is a port of a game so i'll be able to base it off of another game and be able to i don't have to work too hard on like the graphics or sound um i mean i'll be able to do the graphics but i won't be able to do the sound too easily (laughs) so i'll probably get somebody else to help out me out with sound if they want to um no guessing uh the guessing will start now the guessing will start good luck yeah (laughs) it's not an arcade game yeah so you will not be able to figure it out. Yeah. Um, but uh, hopefully I can get that going in the next couple of weeks, at least the play field yeah. and, and the character. I mean, that's not much of a stretch to get the, the player character going as well. Um, yeah, you can start guessing. But as soon as I get those two things going, I will release it um, as a playable version mm. because it will be playable with just those two things. Like, fully playable and probably fun. Mm. I'll show it as soon as I get those two things going. Yeah. The scrolling play field yeah. and the player character. Yeah. That's it. Um, there's actually not even shooting in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You're giving away too much. Don't give away yeah. too much yet. Um, so, that's that's. I hope to be working on that in the next little bit. Because I think somebody mentioned it in the other show. It's like, are you going to make your own game? I'm like, yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> I will. And then I thought, what game should I make? And this one is the easiest to get going. Yeah, to start off with. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Doesn't need a fire button. Thrust 26 is, no. is, is, is um, It doesn't need a fire button. engaged now. He wants to start to the game. I guess and to restart the game. Don't you don't give away too much. It, they will never guess it. No, they will never guess. Ah, uh, you say that. So not zero page homebrew the game. Yeah. <laughs> nope. You know it. Ooh, you know it. Well, don't say it out loud. <laughs> or you could guess it, and I won't. I will not confirm or deny any game. But I'd be interested to to know your guess. You can type it out. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> it does narrow it down a bit. Yeah, you're you're giving away too much. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you just need to get started on it. Get, I do. get a work in progress. I just going. need a day where I can say just I'm not going to work your on time. anything else. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> There's always things that are like you got to work on this. You got to work on this. Yeah, it's true. And I have other projects and even the show too. Yeah. Because this show takes up. I have to do a lot of research for yeah. it. And, and not even research, organizing and, yeah. and talking to people to get to get the games on the show and yeah. get the information. Yeah. But anyway, our next show is on Wednesday. So thanks for hanging out. It's evening on Wednesday. Uh, thanks, Thrust, uh, Kev Kelly, uh, Dan AVC, S. Ramirez, Johnny WC23, Miss um, Sinclair, Ms. Sinclair uh, Dan AVC, Cafe Man 2D, Pack Rat VG, Splendid Nut, <clears throat> Al Nefer, Carl G. Um, else chatting today oh i think that's it maybe some people up top captain classic i probably said that name <clears throat> so um thanks for hanging out and playing along with us and um we will see you on wednesday Bye-bye. bye have a good weekend <laughs> have a good weekend